Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. For the final time here in this first semester, the Tigers and Lady Tigers will take to the court in a Mid-South Conference double header. Campbellsville's women's club still a game or so away from wrapping up their first semester schedule. The Tigers will do just that here today against Shawnee State as the Bears visit the PAL for what may be the final time. The uh, Shawnee State Bears will move off uh, into the River States Conference next season. This is the final meeting here in the PAL in terms of regular season matchups. Matt Payton and the former Tiger Benji Kelly with you here today as we get ready for action. Both of our women's teams out on the floor. The number three ranked Campbellsville Lady Tigers bring a perfect 10-0 record into this contest today. They are 7-0 in Mid-South Conference play. Shawnee State 5-9 on the season, 2-6 inside of league play. And Benji Kelly, there's not much uh, better that would send you to the holiday break if you're Shawnee State than picking off a top five ranked Campbellsville University club. And the Lady Tigers going to have to be on their P's and Q's here today. Yeah, they, they really are. This Shawnee State team is, they've basically been in every game and uh, have lost just some close ones and been real close to, uh, you know, Thomas Moore I played them, I think, to maybe a 12-point ball game. So they're they're very, very dangerous. As I was talking to Coach Galvin this morning, and she said they're the most dangerous 5-9 and nine team I think I've ever seen. So uh, get, definitely got to take uh, take care of the ball today, uh, rebound, rebound, and uh, as always, what she's been stressing from pretty much day one, push the ball when we can, uh, be aggressive on the offensive end. And I tell you what, this Lady Tiger team, they have been doing that as of late, uh, playing some of their best basketball uh, here, here recently. Be a great way to finish out uh, here at the PAL uh, in conference play. Then we've got a non-conference game, I believe, next week. And then you and I will be heading down to where the weather's a little bit warmer than what's expecting here next week in Central Kentucky. And my wife actually asked me, she says, is it going to be warm in Miami? I said, it doesn't matter if it's warm in Miami, it's going to be warmer than it is in it's Campbellsville. Right. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's really uh, all that matters. Uh, it'll be, uh, I'm guessing, mid-70s or so yeah. at worst. Uh, here, by the time we're gone, uh, you may be in the single digits. Single digits, So yeah. that will be... Uh, Coach Colvin did a nice job scheduling that one. Yes. I, I think uh, she knew the weather would be be poor. The Lady Tigers get a win on uh, Tuesday. Benji, they knocked off the Asbury Eagles in Wilmore. Campbellsville did not play Thursday evening. Their matchup with Pikeville was moved. U Pike actually in Florida this weekend. They're taking on Warner today. Uh, matched up with Weber International on uh, I think Thursday or Friday. They played Weber but uh, Pikeville down south as we speak. So the Lady Tigers aren't getting this Mid-South Conference uh, Thursday-Saturday uh, game this weekend or Thursday-Saturday look. It's just Saturday here for the Campbellsville Lady Tigers. Shawnee State was in action on Thursday. They knocked off Lindsey Wilson College in a big way, 63-37 to at the Waller Gymnasium. And Lindsey Wilson struggling a bit this season. They lost Sydney Hall, it appears, with uh, a knee injury. And uh, it's been rough sledding for Coach Wethington and company. But if you are uh, Shawnee State, it's all about, you know, the momentum picking up wins sure. and uh, they knocked off Wilberforce they've knocked off Lindsey Wilson College in between there you mentioned they lost to Thomas Moore by a dozen but uh, that seems to happen to everybody these days it, it does and but, but once again uh, you know it, I think it's you've got there's a couple players out here that played last year but it's fairly a whole new team if I'm not mistaken for Shawnee State and sometimes that takes time for them to kind of come together in jail so they went down and beat uh, Lindsey Wilson very handedly and uh, you know so uh, got the confidence that they need. They can come in here today, and, and you know you just never know. You roll the ball out there on any given night in this in this league, uh, anybody can beat anybody. So Campbellsville is definitely going to have to bring their A game, and uh, you know to beat this team. But once again, it would be a great way to finish the the first. Uh, semester conference play, uh, you know, once again, undefeated going into that non-conference uh, game. So I think we've got, what, three three more or four more? We've got three non-conference games yeah, left. The up. Lady Tigers are 10-0. Uh, Thomas Moore, 13-0. and 0. 
uh, Thomas Moore one game better in league play because, uh, again, Campbellsville, they're going to be behind. This is going to throw my OCD off it for will. the next month until plus February here, 2nd. Until February 2nd <laughs> because the Lady Tigers are going to be short a, a league game. So uh, that will mess with me day in and day out. I may lose a wink of sleep or two over that. I, I did just when I look at that stat sheet, my skin will almost crawl. But them's, uh, them's the breaks. That's how it goes. But the Lady Tigers will be uh, – they will have three – games non-conference between you know now and the first of the year they'll have miami hamilton here on the 22nd then that trip to florida after the christmas holiday to where uh, they'll take on florida memorial and st thomas and st thomas still and i mentioned this the other night uh, still undefeated yeah and uh there could if you're the lady tigers you could there are six teams i think left six or seven teams i can't remember i counted uh, yesterday undefeated uh the top five and then i think you have loyola and then st thomas so seven right so seven, seven teams in. Science, Science and, and arts. arts got beat. They did. Okay. They did get beat this week, so they actually uh, they They're lost the game. One. So I think there are seven. So Campbellsville has two of them coming up on their schedule, and Campbellsville one of the undefeateds as well. So uh, they'd love to, you know, uh, do their part and uphold a couple of undefeated matchups. Uh, the Lady Tigers again, Florida Memorial and St. Thomas, the host school down in in Miami Gardens uh, on the 27th and 28th, I do believe, as uh, we uh, get set for that over the next few weeks. There is. Uh, the president, Dr. Joseph Hopkins, making his way in as we get ready for tip-off here in just a moment. We'll keep it here. We won't even uh, we won't take a break here to begin this. We'll look at the uh, series facts, the all-time meetings between these two clubs. This has been quite a rivalry over the years. You go back to, uh, of course, Jeff Nickel uh, there, and I forget, is it Robin Hagen-Smith? Is that who was the uh, longtime head coach at Shawnee State? I forget now. I'm I should have, uh, I'll have to look that up because that'll drive me crazy. But uh, the 38th meeting all time between the two clubs coming here today. Shawnee State has the narrowest of leads over Campbellsville. The Lady Tigers can knock this series up at 19 apiece with a win here today. They currently trail 19 to 18. They've met in the Mid South Conference Finals four times in the last eight years. Shawnee State won three of those matchups. CU knocked off Shawnee State three times in the 2018 19 season to claim the Mid South Conference tournament title and secure a perfect Mid South Conference ledger that year year at 17 and 0. CU is 8 and 8 at home versus Shawnee State and Ginger High Colvin is 15 and 16 against Shawnee State. CU won the first ever meeting between the clubs back in 1990. Benji, I guess uh, you'd have been on campus. I was on campus. That. Do you remember yeah, that game? I, re I do remember that game <laughs> and actually uh, the very next year we started playing uh, okay. Shawnee State. So uh, it goes back to that far and uh, uh, some some real real battles. Back back in the back in the day before they joined the conference you were always looking for non-conference games, and it was close enough to where you'd be able to do that, uh, you know, with the Shawnee State, and now they're, here they are in the conference. But if I'm not mistaken, are they are they leaving? Yeah, they're the going conference? to the River States. Yeah, that's what I thought. And so, so um, they will. Uh, I think they're going to the River States. Um, they will leave. Pikeville goes to the Appalachian. Yep. UT Southern uh, joining the Southern states and then thomas moore goes division two so you've got four teams leaving the league and all of them going different places yes um after the season concludes after this uh, uh school year concludes so quite uh interesting uh in terms of yeah you go from uh two two automatic bids mm -hmm. to one yeah uh in the national tournament so once again it puts uh you know that pressure on on uh, the, the conference tournament uh, being uh, so important. And we'll see Chris Wells uh, currently an interim Mid-South Conference Commissioner and I, I know my uh, my thought is I'd love to see Chris oh, have absolutely. that permanently if that's something that he uh, he wants. I think he would do a terrific job. Longtime Sports Information Director and Assistant Athletic Director for Lindsey Wilson College. I think Chris would do a tremendous job and I know his uh, one of his many tasks uh, in the near future is uh, strengthening this league. Yeah, and uh, to find you've got four teams leaving in one year, it kind of gives a bit of a bad rap uh, just looking at it on the surface. But, uh, you know, obviously these schools are doing what they need to do financially and different things. So hopefully he can come up with some clubs. And there's no shortage of small colleges in no. our area, that's for sure. Well, you look at Brescia, you look at Union College. Um, you know, you could even pick up some, uh, some teams down in the Tennessee market, uh, Lee, uh, down there, so Bryan College, uh, it, it, you know, there's our, there's opportunities uh, to be able to do that because it's a very attractive conference, I think, uh, from top to bottom, and uh, you've seen it expand on the football side with some affiliate members um, and everything. But once again, uh, this is a great conference. It's tough top to bottom. Uh, you take our 
12th place team and put them in some other conferences, and they're they're going to compete for you know uh, being in the top uh, top half of those conferences. So uh, once again, uh, it, you know, it's just kind of the nature of the business. You you see it trickle down from the NCAA, and now it's just now hitting ours here at the NAI level. The Lady Tigers and Shawnee State coming your way here in just a moment. We will step away and uh, take a timeout. Here we'll go two minute timeout. Uh, we've got our opening prayer and national anthem. We'll take a two minute timeout if we get back before our anthem concludes. We'll just bring you some of the sounds here from the Pal Athletic Center as we get set for tip off in just a moment between the third ranked Campbellsville University Lady Tigers and the Shawnee State Bears here on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. I tell my son, I love you every single day. Oh. Now my dad has never said that to me. Not because he doesn't love me, but because culturally it wasn't comfortable for him. Now that he's a grandfather, he says I love you to my son every time he sees him. My advice to all the fathers out there, forget the cultural restrictions. They grow up way too fast for you to waste even a single precious moment. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. The black truck. Hey, Christina from accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she dumped me for my best friend. You want to see some photos of them that I took? I don't. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call a car. That's a smart idea. So, yeah, I know. That's why I did it. Hey, you're going to get back to the top of the mountain. Does that mean I'm going to get back with Christina? No. Oh, no, no. If you love them enough to drive an hour to cheer them on as they get beat 11 to nothing in the rain, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. That was Dr. Jamie Killian with our national anthem as Matt Payton joins us back here. I had to say a little something That's there to the right. coach there. There you go. Game you planning, little, of course. A little, little pre-game yeah. uh, pre pep, talk. pep talk. Yeah. So. As, uh, we get set for the starting lineups here. The Lady Tigers and Shawnee State Bears off on their benches. Uh, starters being announced by Corbin Harris. Public address here in the Powell Center. The Shawnee State Bears, coached by Dwayne Burroughs in his second season, assisted by Diamond Adams and Keisha Anderson. They send out Tanisha Murphy, 5'8", a senior guard from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Cam Elsey, 5'7", a senior guard from Tulare, California. Markayla Holland, 5'10", a freshman guard from Waterford, Michigan. Marnay Holland, 5'11", a senior forward from Strongsville, Ohio. They are sisters, but uh, they list different hometowns and high schools. And uh, rounding out the starting five for Shawnee State, Jada Johnson, 5'11", a junior forward from Nashville, Tennessee. Now for the Lady Tigers, Coach Ginger High called in their 16th season five times, a conference Coach of the Year award winner. They send out their usual suspects in the Thrivent starting lineup today, presented by Quentin Ford. Bailey Pedigo, 5'7", a junior guard from Glasgow, Kentucky. Lauren Lee, 5'7", a sophomore guard from Liberty, Kentucky. Maddie Boyle, 5'6", a junior guard from Milledgeville, Kentucky. Courtney Pritchett, 5'8", a redshirt junior forward from Birdstown, Tennessee. And rounding out the five for the Lady Tigers in the middle, it's Caitlin Wilk, 6'2", a junior forward from Stanford, Kentucky. Campbellsville assisted by Miranda Denny and Brett Sowell. The Lady Tigers today in their home white uniforms. Campbellsville across the chest in the uh, script. Maroon letters and numbers for the Lady Tigers. Little gray trim, the LTB on the shorts <laughs> for Campbellsville University. 
Coach a little superstitious there. Come down and give us a fist bounce. Yeah, She's like, I about forgot. Don't rock the boat. <laughs> Don't mess anything up here. Shawnee State has Shawnee State on the chest in gray. Sandwiching the number in gray with white trim. And then gray accents down the shorts. White trim for Shawnee State. Campbellsville goes right to left in the first half. Left to right for the Bears if you're following along on radio. And we are ready to jump it up here. Marne Holland, longtime Bear, wins the tap back to Johnson. And the first possession will go to Shawnee State as Cam Elsey will handle the basketball out top. Goes along across to Holland, and she has fouled a quick and one. That is wow. nice offense by what Shawnee State to get this pass. game started. What a pass by Elsey there. Through about three or four Lady Dagger defenders and quickly Courtney Pritchett there with that first foul. Wow, what a pass. Short of tapping the uh, opening toss into yeah. the net from midcourt. That's, that's about, about as good a start absolutely. as you can have. That was, a, that was a hard pass right there. Holland will shoot the free throw, and Marnay Holland makes it a three-point lead for Shawnee State. Mid-South Conference second team member a year ago was Marnay Holland. Murphy will pick up Lauren Lee. Right side, Campbellsville to basketball. They go to... Pritchett in the short corner. Surveys, nowhere to go, and she's going to be fouled here by Johnson. Got the hands out and extended. That will be the first on Johnson, first on Shawnee State. So we've played 22 seconds. And with Larry Hammer in the building, <laughs> the officials keeping it tight early. Hammer, the assigning secretary for officials in the Mid-South Conference on the women's side. Here is Pritchett, long two. That is good. Courtney Pritchett, had she clipped her toenails this morning. Uh, that would have been a three. That would have been a three, but yeah, she had... Uh, just the edge of the tennis shoes that's on a, the line. That's about as long of a two as you'll see. Murphy holds it off the wing left side. Campbellsville pressuring. Now Elsey goes down inside. Johnson between two defenders throws up a shot that's no good. Pritchett falls to the ground but able to tap it over to Boyle. Boyle needs some help as there are two Bears defending her, and she is going to be fouled by Murphy. Boyle oh, got hit in the chin there. Murphy uh, didn't come out so hot there herself. They may have really – they may have – Bumped heads. Bumped heads or, or face uh, something like that. But uh, quick pressure there on the trap there as Boyle came up as smart play by Shawnee to kind of slow things up. Far corner, Pritchett surveys. Back out to Lee. Campbellsville trails by a point. Left side, Boyle can't shoot it. One dribble. Now back out to Pettigo. Back to Boyle. Open. Three on the way. That is hard. Rebound batted up into the air and taken in by Johnson. Lee kept it alive briefly. Elsie going to try to thread the needle, does to Holland. Her shot no good. That was Markayla Holland off the mark. Campbellsville the other way. Pritchett leads CU, bounces. She has Lee, who has the right block and two points off the window. Yeah, that's textbook transition right there. Dribble to the free throw line, bounce pass, easy layup for the Lady Tigers. Campbellsville's first lead here, four to three. We play just over 90 seconds. Murphy out front. Elsie being chased here by Boyle. Back to Murphy. She'll drive inside. Oh, my. The ball hit Lauren Lee. Lee got hit in the chin by the off arm. Holland going to back tap that from Pettigo. And uh, Bailey Pettigo had no idea that Holland was behind her. I was trying to watch Lauren Lee there a little yeah. bit. Incidental contact, nothing uh, intentional. I, I don't think the shot clock should be at 10. It should, probably should be about 26, 25. 22. I was a little close. Well, you but in, you uh, that's, twi that's twice Lawrence yeah, actually got center. hit in the, hit the face twice there. She's been better off boxing. Here's yeah. Pedigo. Right side, three on the way. That is no good. Rebound taken in by Markayla Holland. Hands it to Elsie. Lady Tigers, the top field goal percentage team in the country. Hope to keep that trend here today. Murphy, left side of the lane, steps through. Big step. Missed the shot. Marnay Holland back out. Elsie, three on the way. That is in and out. No good. And here we're going to have a foul on the floor against Bailey Pedigo and the Lady Tigers. That's the first on BP and the second on CU as a team. Campbellsville still with a one-point advantage here, 4-3. to 7.51 to play in the first quarter. Matt Payton and Benji Kelly at Donna Wise Court in the Powell Athletic Center. Elsie pitches it in short here to Johnson. She'll come back out top to Markayla Holland. Now right side, Elsie. Elsie. Holds it, gets the screen. Going to take a long two here. That is no good. Johnson kept it inbounds. Ball being batted. It hit off a foot or two. And we're going to have to go to the 
thumbs here as it'll go to Campbellsville University. That hit the pad on the way down. Kind of took a bad hop on the Lady Tigers, it appeared, Benji. And Kayla Luby going to check in, 6'2", junior forward from B, Nebraska. Yeah, it's one of those things that, the, that it was short, hit the pad, so the, the trajectory you're thinking it's going to be, and Campbell's just got a little bit out of sorts. Fortunate there to get the jump ball uh, and get the possession here because they could have had an easy little putback. Luby had 18 off the bench in the win Tuesday over Asbury. Lee. Right side, backing away as Pedigo bounces at the Pritchett. There's the entry. Luby quickly to work three. Bears there. No matter. A finish for Luby over the left shoulder. I tell you, you just tell the confidence out of Kayla Luby here these last three or four games, playing extremely well for this Lady Tiger team. Johnson working around the lane. Has Holland jumper good for Marnay Holland. I'm going to have to do all I can to keep the Holland sisters straight here. They uh, are not twins, but they are. <laughs> Just about identical. They, they, they almost are identical, yep. I say they're not twins. I don't believe they're twins. Uh, there's a large gap in the experience column. Here is a three by Boyle, no good. Murphy, the rebound. Murphy ahead, gets around Lee. Going to have to look for some help here. It's Johnson at the free throw line. That is good. And Shawnee State back up by a point here, seven yeah. to six. This Shawnee State team, they're scrappy. Like I said, they've been in a lot of games and they picked, had a big win the other night at Aunt Lindsay. Inside, Lee falls down. She's had a rough start here to this one as that pass was knocked out of bounds. Changes for the Lady Tigers. Elizabeth Bertram, 5'6", sophomore guard from Glasgow, Kentucky. Maddie Nally, 6'2", a sophomore forward from Louisville, Kentucky. And Sarah Sutton, 5'10", a junior forward from Scottsville, Kentucky, all checking in. Courtney Pritchett, the lone member of that thriving starting lineup to remain on the court here for Campbellsville. Feels like a little bit of a prize fight here, Matt. They're kind of, each team kind of sizing each other up. Burt, gonna throw it in to Sutton, and now Nally holds it, bounces out top, Bertram. Couple of dribbles, back door, there is Nally, but it's actually poked away, helped defender Holland came through, read that, and poked it free. Elsie the other way. Elsie spinning in some traffic, pitches it out. Markayla Holland thought about it, now bounces right side to Murphy. Bertram will close out on Murphy, gets around her. Outside, Elsie, a couple of ball fakes. Now comes back to Murphy, That's can't hot. shoot it, and a little hop step there on Murphy. A little, got a little excited there. It was actually a good basketball move, but just had the little hop step there. and. Uh, 7-6, Shawnee State, the one-point advantage. Sutton on around here. She has Bertram cutting Pritchett. Has to kind of jump up and catch it. She'll drive between defenders. Wow. Gets the bucket. Does Courtney Pritchett. Yeah, strong, strong move there, Courtney Pritchett. Out top. Elsie holds it. Nally there for Campbellsville. What a pack nice. door inside. Oh, my. Luby. Oh, my. Luby got away with the little body check there yeah. on Karima uh, Nix, who just checked in. 6 1 freshman forward from St. Petersburg, Florida. Coach Burrow's unhappy. And uh, I, get and it. I, I get it. That was a body <laughs> body blow. Yeah, he said she didn't fall on her own. He is correct. <laughs> Here's Bertram. That ball knocked away by Murphy. Sutton dives in there. Nice hustle by Sutton. We'll go back to the arrow, I believe. And this will be Shawnee State basketball. Lauren Lee going to check back in for the Lady Tigers. I wonder what Larry Hammer thinks about that play. Well, <laughs> He's close enough we can ask him That's today. right. See that replay that Luby shot a minute ago, left hand over the right shoulder. I think I may have said left shoulder uh, live, but that was left hand over the right shoulder. Got a finish. Murphy holds it. Back and forth, they go out top. Now they go inside to Nix. Nix has to come out of some traffic, throws it back out to Elsie. On the drive, Elsie leaves it off. Nick's shot off glass is good. Elsie, I tell you what, she has improved so much from last year. I don't remember her quite making those difficult passes like she has here today. Nally inside has Pritchett turnaround jumper. Good for yeah. Courtney Swish it. Oh, automatic there, Courtney. About 14 to 15 foot. This pass long ahead, knocked out of bounds. Nally got her mitts on it. It goes out of play, and this will bring us to a stoppage. 10 to nine the score. The Lady Tigers lead by 1.433 to play in the first quarter. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm gonna take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men, take care of our home. 
You build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. To nine our score, the Lady Tigers lead Shawnee State here by a single digit in the Pal Athletic Center. Minji, you mentioned kind of that uh, prize fight, just feeling some teams out. We've seen the Lady Tigers jump out and have big starts. We've also seen uh, this is the period in the game where they can start to really make some inroads. And this this kind of a time for Shawnee State with what we've seen out of the Lady Tigers. It feels like a critical stage of this game. The next, obviously, four minutes of this uh, first quarter yeah. and maybe the first two or three of the second quarter really, really dictate things for Campbellsville at times. Well, it and what, what Shawnee State's doing, they're making passes that normally aren't made against a zone that Campbellsville plays. And yet you've got to credit uh, Elsie for that and Shawnee's probably scouting report that there are some lanes that are open, but some players are just a little afraid to make that type of pass, not yeah. Elsie. Nicks off the baseline out of bounds. Pass from Holland off the mark. The rebound taken in by Campbellsville. Lee going down the lane, pitches it out. Open three, Sutton, bang. Sarah Sutton and Edward Jones, three. Yeah, textbook, penetrate, kick back. Nice three for Sarah Sutton, set up by Lauren Lee. Elsie drives, contested jumper over Nally and Luby. And here Nix will be over the back of Sutton. Yeah. Sutton had seven boards in the win over Asbury, a career high for her. And a great block out there forces Karima Nix to get up the backside and Fowler. Well, once again, Sarah Sutton just, uh, you know, you've, you've seen here as of late, the game kind of come back to her. She really struggled early in the year, but uh, some of that is just, uh, you just need to get out there and play. She didn't have that opportunity much early in the semester. Pritchett on the end line, bounces Luby quickly up, lost the ball on the way up. They're gonna say it hit off of Shawnee State. Elsie came across, little contact, but we saw one on the other end earlier not called. They let it uh, be a play on there. Four-point Lady Tiger lead. Lee to inbound. Finds Luby back to Lee and out to Sutton. Now Pritchett won't shoot it. Lee again wants the entry, kicks it out again at Sutton. Three on the way. That is short just off the front of the iron. Nicks the rebound. And Shawnee State will head to the front court. LZ with the round ball. Murphy at the logo for Donna Wise court. Out top, Elsie again. Murphy on the drive inside, able to keep it away from Luby and get the lay in. The Shawnee State team, like, like you said, Matt, they're scrappy, they're staying right here in it. Nally out top, this is Sutton, and all the way around the horn we go to Pritchett on the far side. Pritchett catches, little ball fake driving it. Markayla Holland, now it's going to be Lee, the pull-up jumper just off the painted area, maybe yeah. right inside the painted area, gets the field goal. Good job by Lauren. That's one thing that her game has improved is that mid-range jumper, not afraid to take that shot. They go wow. down inside. Nix gets the in line and missed the shot. It's going to be Luby in there to grab the rebound for Campbellsville. Nice job of the Lady Tigers to come away with the stop. Sutton has to hesitate right near midcourt, waits for Lee to clear. Lee out right wing. Pritchett won't shoot it. Couple of dribbles back to Lee. Gonna work into the middle. Out, open, three, Pritchett. That is hard. And the rebound to Marnay Holland. Here comes Elsie once again. It remains a four point Campbellsville advantage. 2.20 to play in the first quarter. Pass blocked there by Pritchett, but it goes right back to Markayla Holland. Now they have Marnay Holland. At the elbow, jumper no good. Rebound to Sutton for Campbellsville. Lee wants to run. Lee driving right side of the lane, gets the step inside. She's whacked and fouled, goes to the floor. This will be on Shawnee State. Two shots coming for Lauren Lee. The foul will go against Markayla Holland. Gonna get uh, Pedigo, Boyle, Bertram, and Wilkes checking back in. That portion of that second group. and. Now a portion of the first group leaving the floor. So you got a bit of a, a mix and match for Campbellsville here. Free throw for Lee. Actually, the only member of that starting lineup out for the moment is Courtney Pritchett. Elizabeth Bertram in her stead. 
Lauren Lee's second free throw makes it a six-point Campbellsville advantage. 17 to 11, just over two minutes to play in the first quarter. Murphy, the basketball, chased by Pettigo and Boyle, splits them, goes inside, leaves it out. This is a new player into the ball game. Jumper on the way, no good. And the rebound taken in by Campbellsville. That was Alira Nelson Elias who shot that. And Boyle in a bit of a pickle, and she and Elias, oh, could have been a walk there, not called. Back to Shawnee State. Nice hustle by the Bears. Ball knocked away, but Elsie picks it up. Elsie backs up into the corner. Nelson Elias going to skip it. Murphy grabs it, going to go up, and she walked. That's the second time today Murphy has uh, took off running yeah. like a like a football player catching a you know a pass. But uh, she, man, she's quick. She's very, quick. First step is very explosive. Campbellsville gets it back. I mentioned uh, Alira Nelson Elias in, 5'7", senior guard from Erie, Pennsylvania. Transfer from Tiffin University. Lee bounces to Pettigo. On the dribble now, Bailey finds Bertram, whose mid-range shot at the free throw line was good, but we're going to have a foul away from the basketball on Karima Nix. That's, uh, that's actually free throws here. And so that will send Wilkes to the free throw line. Nix picks up her second foul. Yeah, Caitlin actually has not ha attempted a shot here tonight. Uh, they're kind of packing that down and a double team in the post. So, well, when you got somebody shooting 70% from the field, I guess that's a pretty good that's idea. That's a pretty good idea. That's right. 69.9% on the season from the floor is Caitlin Wilkes. Hit the free throw there. One more coming for Wilkes. She gets both, and it is an eight point Lady Tiger advantage, 19 to 11. Elsie. Has it deflected, Boyle couldn't get to it though. It comes off to Murphy, now back to Elsie. Johnson back in the lineup for Shawnee State. She'll drive right side. Bertram intercepts the pass. Ahead she has Boyle. Boyle gonna work to the right side. She'll slow it down a bit. Lee, extra pass, left side, triple. Bertram, oh! Couldn't get the friendly bounce. And uh, I thought that thing was going to fall down through Benji, and it just took one final hop over the rim off to the left. It'll stay with Campbellsville. It, uh, it wanted to go in, but it decided not it to. It decided not to. Lee throws it out. It's intercepted. I don't think she saw Elsie almost so right either. to her. Elsie has it knocked away by Pettigo on the way up. Rebound comes off to Nelson Elias, and Shawnee State will set it back up here. Down on the inline, Marnay Holland, a quick release jumper is good off the inline for Holland. 19 to 13, Campbellsville by six points. Lauren Lee holds it out front. About a two or three second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And Bertram's pass a little too soft and Murphy picks it up and that's an easy bucket for Shawnee State. Now the shot clock is off. Campbellsville has got to do a better job taking care of it. Boyle to end the quarter. Jumper off the mark. Pedigo couldn't grab it. Would have been a, a shot there for Bailey on a putback potentially, but just couldn't quite handle that long rebound. The carom came off hard past Bailey, and that's where the first quarter will come to a close. 19 to 15, your score. The Lady Tigers with a four-point advantage over Shawnee State. Stay with us here. You're following Lady Tiger basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Heading to period number two, Campbellsville leads Shawnee State 19 to 15. Matt Payton and the former Tiger, Benji Kelly, here with you this afternoon for this Mid-South Conference doubleheader. You can see uh, some replay work here in the early going. Courtney Pritchett with a couple of baskets for the Lady Tigers. That one, a little mid-range jumper off the end line there. Old school basketball, Benji Kelly just uh, drive in, kick back to the trailer. Shooting, shooting certainly does that with the best of them. 
she uh, she can definitely shoot the ball. And uh, shout out to her former team, Murray State Lady Racers, last night, uh, beating University of Kentucky. That is a huge, huge win for uh, Coach Rochelle Turner and her program in my hometown. Big win for the racers and uh, battle of state supremacy, yes. I guess you could say. They got a little bragging rights. Back to play here. Out front, Boyle bounces to it Pritchett. Is. Entry wants Wilkes. Hazard gathers and goes up off the window for two points. Yeah, that'll increase that shooting percentage that, from the field. It will. She'll be up over 70 after that one. Just an unreal season That's, here for is. Wilkes. Murphy drives in, and that is blocked by Wilkes. Can she pick it up? She can't. Jada Johnson will go up with a shot. No good. Ball still being pinballed around. And finally, Nelson Elias from her midsection throws it to Johnson, and she's fouled. Wow. That was like a pinball down there. Oh, oh, boy. Foul will go against Maddie Boyle as we begin this second quarter. That is the uh, first on Maddie Boyle. First on the Lady Tigers, Jada Johnson at the stripe, hits the first free throw. 21-16 the count. One more, that is good. So Johnson gets a pair. The Lady Tigers lead by four points. Lauren Lee sprints ahead, hands it to Boyle. Boyle wants Wilkes not there. Pritchett, a little zone here by Shawnee Looks State. Looks like it. Out, Boyle. A little 2-3. Back to Lee on the wing. Now Boyle out front. Pritchett, Boyle. Pettigo on the end line. Jumper on the way. That is no good. A little hard there for Bailey. The rebound taken in by Jada Johnson. Just over a minute gone by in the second quarter. Elsie working right side. Cut off briefly. Now goes uh, back towards the rim again. Finds Johnson who missed the shot. Marnay Holland pitches it back out. Second chance opportunity here for Shawnee State as the Bears work with it in the front court. Johnson across to Holland. Now Elsie with a ball fake. Backs away from Boyle. Threads the needle. That is beautiful basketball as Johnson cut. Elsie bounced it right to her. Yeah, it's just a phenomenal basketball there by uh, the Shawnee State. That's our fourth offensive rebound. Uh, and just Elsie from the perimeter, man, she can just, she can dish the ball extremely well against the zone. Pettigo out front, Lee, left side, Boyle. Still a 2-3 look for Shawnee State. Into the corner, Pettigo finds a wide open Boyle for a jumper from 10 feet. No good. Rebound gets knocked out a few times. Marnay Holland finally able to throw the lasso around it. And long ahead to Murphy. Thought Campbellsville was going to get themselves a second chance try. Elsie off the wing to Murphy here, back to Elsie out top. Whips one down inside, hauling across, over Wilk, shot no good. Pettigo the rebound, Pettigo ahead to Boyle who will slow down, leave it with Pritchett. And now Lee off the left side, again it's Pettigo, throws one down inside quickly, Wilkes will try to give it up and it was knocked away by Murphy. I think Murphy kind of kicked that. Well, yeah, but it wasn't intentional. Yeah, yeah. That's usually they they get it when it's intentional. 21-19. These two teams have made it a bit ugly here. Yeah, they have. Murphy driving in, looking for Holland. That ball's deflected and will hit out of bounds. Kayla Luby back in. Caitlin Wilkes frustrated. Will check out. So that zone defense for. Shawnee State for the time being has given Campbellsville some problems, but we've seen uh, the Lady Tigers this season face a zone a few times and they've figured it out each and every opportunity. Six to shoot, Elsie holds it, skips it left side. Nelson Elias working on the dribble, runs into Luby and they're gonna call a blocking foul. I think if Kayla doesn't move, that may be a play on but there at the back end, she kind of moved her hands down to pick up the ball and stepped, and it made it look a little worse than it probably was. Well, I was a little straight line, so I actually didn't see it, and the, the official was standing right in front of me here, but uh, that's, a, that's a big call with the shot clock going off. It gives them an opportunity here to tie it. Nelson Elias hits the first free throw, just 46% on the season. 
Well, Campbellsville just a little bit out of sorts here on this defensive end, Matt. Giving up four offensive rebounds, six second chance points, whereas Campbellsville has zero offensive rebounds and zero second chance points. So right now, that's the that's kind of the difference right here. We're shooting the ball good enough to be able to win. Uh, it's just on the defensive end, we're giving up those extra opportunities. Lee off the wing right side, backs away a bit, now skips it to Sutton who's back in and she's his own buster if Shawnee State's not careful. Pritchett holds it, two defenders in there, Sutton back out, open Lee, won't shoot it, on the dribble, kicks, this is Sutton, open three, short, rebound, Pritchett gathers, gonna go back up, has it knocked away, we're gonna go to the arrow here and I believe that will favor Shawnee State. I don't yeah. know how that's a tie. That's an awful quick tie well, ball. It is. The ball came out, so it play on. And, and she had her hands in there, and there's not a foul. Let it let it go on. Elsie out front. Navigates a bit to the left side with Lee hanging out in the hip pocket. Drives in. Now Johnson going to take the jumper. That is good. Shawnee State leads 23-21 here. Yeah, this is one of these teams you don't want to let them stick around, Matt. They're, uh, they're scrappy enough that um, they can pull off an upset here today. Pritchett. Out to Lee, inside, wants Luby. Quick move for Luby, goes up, shovels one, no good. Luby falls down. Elsie collapses to the ground as well as they run into one another, and Murphy will bring it ahead. Elsie out front now on the dribble. Pettigo gives chase, throws it away. Looking inside for Johnson, Sutton intercepts it. Lee, right side, goes at Elsie. She's fouled, no call, mercy me. The other way, Murphy long ahead, a run out. She has Holland, who lays it up and in. Marnay Holland, the basket, and it's a four-point Shawnee State advantage. Wow, Campbellsville is kind of getting punched in the nose here, and this Shawnee State can kind of smell a little blood, and they're playing extremely well here. Sutton, left side, three, that is no good. Ball knocked up into the air, and it goes off of a few players. I think Johnson and Holland, Luby all had a chance at it. Finally falls out of bounds, and it'll go to Shawnee State with 5-11 to play in the first half. 25-21, Bears lead by four. Campbellsville will pick up a little full court pressure here, see if they can force Shawnee State into some mistakes. Elsie splits a pair of defenders, drives inside, leaves it for Nelson Elias, runs into Pritchett, shot is short, and the rebound taken in by Sutton. Campbellsville wants to run, Pettigo finds Lee, she'll go down inside, avoid Murphy, throw one up that's no good. The Lady Tigers just can't buy one here. Yeah, it's uh, been a bit we, since they've scored. Well, it has been, and we were up in almost 55, 50, 60%, now our percentage down to 34. Elsie on around. Lady Tigers, I believe, with just one field goal in the second half. Here inside has Holland off glass. Good. 27 21. Wow. Lee the other way for CU. Left side, Bertram. Now Sutton bounces to Pritchett. Pritchett looking. Nearly has it knocked away. Saves it. Kicks it out. Pedigo, three. Bang! Bailey Pedigo on time. That is a Jones, three. Big three right there, Matt. This thing was about ready to. Uh, Almost be a double-digit lead for Shawnee. That's a big three by and a good kick out by Courtney Pritchett. 27-24. Murphy the basketball here for Shawnee State. Murphy working right side. Inside throws one up. We're gonna have a blocking foul called on Tanisha Murphy. Actually, Tanisha Murphy. I believe is how they gave me the pronunciation earlier. And this will bring us to a media stoppage. Who was that foul on Benji? On Bertram. It? Bertram, so uh, Bert's first three on the Lady Tigers. Media timeout here. Shawnee State leads it by three. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Twenty-seven, twenty-four. Shawnee State leads Campbellsville here in the Powell Center. Matt Payton and Benji Kelly Courtside, we've got a Mid-South Conference doubleheader on the slate here 
this afternoon. The Tigers coming up at 3 p.m. Campbellsville here early has struggled a bit from the floor. And Shawnee State has forced the Lady Tigers into seven early turnovers. Benji, that is not something that they've done on the season. They are second in the country in turnovers per game at just uh, 12 uh, a night for CU. So yeah, credit I, Shawnee State there. Well, their, their, their intensity is a little more than ours right now. We're not matching that. And I tell you, on the, off, on the defensive end for Campbellsville, Elsie is just picking us apart, uh, making some difficult passes. But there are some passing lanes and uh, she's able to get, to, to get the ball where it needs to go, and that's why this Shawnee State team has a three-point lead. Holland the basketball, that's Marnay Holland out now to Nelson Elias, and on around. Elsie has it left side, 12 to shoot. Johnson yeah. walked, she, she changed her pivot, I believe. Yes, yeah, she did, and she knows it. Yeah, she was, uh, my bad, my bad, but yeah, just kind of just took off walking there, and it was a good pickup by the official. Camelsville here with an opportunity. That's uh, only the uh, seventh turnover here. Camelsville's normally having teams in double digits already at this point in the game. Well, Shawnee State takes pretty good care they of the do. basketball themselves. Pedigo needs some help here. Searching, ball gets knocked out of bounds by Shawnee State. It'll stay with Campbellsville. Right at about the time Pritchett flashed and Pedigo tried to throw it to her. Shawnee State knocked it out of play. And here we're gonna have a foul as Holland closes in quickly. That's gonna be Marnay Holland. Her first, first on Shawnee State in the period. Pedigo comes out front here to Bertram. Bertram works right side, bounces, has Pritchett out top. Lee open, three on the way for Lauren Lee. Bang, we're tied, 27 all. Big three, Lauren Lee right there. She doesn't shoot that many of them, but if she can hit them at strategic times, this team's gonna be tough to beat. Lee over 40% on the year from deep. Elsie holds it, has Murphy inside. Murphy may have taken an extra step. Shot no good. Pritchett grabs the rebound. Pedigo sprints ahead. Sutton left side into the corner now. Bertram hand down, three on the way. Bang! The Lady Tigers with back to back. Edward Jones, yeah, pay out. Quick transition there, good. Sutton actually had the shot, but Burton had a better, or uh, Burton had a better look. So credit to Sarah for finding the open. Campbellsville trail 27-21. They've scored nine straight all from deep. They lead by three. Holland pitches it out. Murphy catches it and Sutton on the closeout with the foul. Couldn't blame Sarah there. She thought she might have a steal as that ball was uh, kind of right there within her grasp. Just couldn't get the left hand on it. Two and a half minutes to play in the half. Campbellsville by three points. Murphy didn't get uh, back in. <laughs> the official said her heel was out of bounds. It wasn't that she didn't establish. She, she said that her heel was out whenever she caught it. So I think Coach Burroughs was arguing that the Lady Tigers may have done that earlier. 30 to 27, CU can add to its lead. Maddie Boyle back in for Campbellsville. Campbellsville will go small right now. Boyle off the wing into the corner now, Pedigo. Lee backs away. Bertram straight away won't shoot it. Bertram going to throw one up off block. the left block. What do we got here? And they're going to call an offensive foul. Did they? Was it offensive? No, or? they called block. It block. looked like Shawnee State started to celebrate, so I thought. So it is on LZ, as Benji mentioned, a block there underneath. Two on Shawnee. Cam LZ picks up her first, and Elizabeth Bertram at the nail for the Lady Tigers. 31-27 after Burt sinks the first. And the second good for Bertram also. Five points, the Lady Tiger advantage. Elsie brings it ahead, pressured by Campbellsville, able to navigate her way around a few defenders, and Bertram gonna pick up the foul call here. That's gonna send Elsie to the free throw line, and that's not what you want if you're a Lady Tiger fan. Campbellsville has tried the pressure and uh, speed up Elsie. She is not obliged thus far. She has been uh, terrific with the basketball in her hands. Free throw here is good. 32-28, just yeah. over two minutes to play in the half. She's an 80, uh, almost 81% free throw shooter on the year, uh, averaging 15 points in 33 minutes of action. But man, she has dished out some dimes today. One more coming here for Cam Elsie. 
transfer from UNLV. That free throw is good. The running Rebels. The running Rebels. She actually, uh, Coach Nickel recruited her to, her and Holland are kind of those two holdovers yes. from Coach Nickel's tenure, and they are terrific. She gets a pair, 32-29. The Lady Tigers have it once again. Wilkes back in for CU. Pritchett holds. Back out to Boyle. Boyle off the screen, leaves it with Lee. Right side, Boyle wants Wilkes. Can't get it to her. Now Pedigo being chased. Needs some help. Seven to shoot. Pedigo feeds Wilkes. Wilkes gathers, goes up, and good for Caitlin Wilkes. Yeah, good strong move. I, I, I thought there was a little contact there, but I think their feet got tangled, and that's why um, Nelson Elias fell down. Murphy works around Pedigo on the dribble. Inside, runs into a pair of Lady Tigers. Steps called again on Shawnee State. I think the contact caused that one. And Campbellsville will get it back with 80 seconds to play in the half, 34-29 the score. This is a period, Benji, it feels like maybe the Lady Tigers can start to yep. grab cool. control maybe. Lee left side to Pritchett out front. Pritchett again gets the screen from Wilkes. She's cut off by Holland, the help defender. Boyle won't shoot it. Into the corner, Pedigo gonna go underneath. Reverse gut for Bailey. Pedigo driving the inline. Nice. Uh, I thought she was gonna settle for that mid-range jumper, but the, it kind of opened up and allowed her to come in there and get that reverse layup. Seven points, the lead for CU. I believe the largest lead of the day for the Lady Tigers. Here is Markayla Holland, has it knocked away. Lee comes out of there with it. Lauren Lee to the front court, working, stopping, out. Boyle can't shoot it, she decks it. Here is Pritchett, mm. wanted Wilkes, not there. The Lady Tigers will now be more patient and look get uh, a good look. Lee driving in, has Pedigo, extra pass. Boyle right side, triple, hard rebound. Wilkes gonna go back up with the basketball, off the window, good. Second chance points are only the second offensive rebound for the Lady Tigers here in this first half. See if Campbellsville can close the half with a stop. They lead it by nine, 38-29. Backing away is Elsie. She needs some help, has Murphy. Five seconds, Murphy inside, throws up a shot, no good. Pedigo is dragged oh to the ground, God. and then Murphy steps on her. And boy, oh boy, Ginger High call, well, but not, both not happy with that. Well, she thought Murphy's step may have been intentional, and Coach Burroughs, is barking, and uh, boy, oh boy, let's get out of here while we can. Wow. Campbellsville, the advantage going to the locker room. Neither coach happy, 38-29 your score. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Jason, let's go see your room. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At aceyourretirement.org, you can. Start with a free three-minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? To get free action items customized just for you, get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper.
38-29 our score here at halftime. Matt Payton and Benji Kelly courtside at Donna Wise Court in the Pal Athletic Center. The Lady Tigers leading here by nine points. Benji, it was a 27-21 ball game. The Lady Tigers sprint to close out the first half and uh, have themselves the nine-point advantage. It was a 17-2 run to end the first half. Three made Edward Jones threes in there as uh, Campbellsville Man, they kind of took off in a hurry. Oh, well, they did. It, down 27-21, four minutes and 30 seconds to go. And what they started doing is they picked up their, on their defensive end. They limited them that, that to uh, one possession, had a few steals, a few turnovers, and was able to convert from, a, from deep down there. And as a result, we've got a, a, a nine-point lead here at, at halftime. So, man, that was a scrappy little sloppy first half, but I think that's how Shawnee wants to play it. And uh, they, they're really good. LZ has really impressed me here this evening. Campbellsville finishes 46.7% from the field. They were 14 of 30. They were 4 of 13 from long range, 30.8%, and perfect at the free throw line, 6 of 6 for Shawnee State. They finished 39.3% overall from the floor. They were 11 of 28, 0 of 2 from long range, and they also were perfect at the free throw line, seven of seven there in the first half. Campbellsville gets a uh, team high nine points from Lauren Lee. Lee was three of five from the field. She had an Edward Jones three for Campbellsville. They got eight points from Caitlin Wilkes, who was three of three from the floor, two of two at the free throw line there in the first half. Six from Courtney Pritchett. Pritchett finishing with uh, six points on three of four shooting. She had three rebounds, five assists there in the first half for the Lady Tigers. They get five each from Bailey Pedigo and Elizabeth Bertram. Pedigo with three dimes for Campbellsville. She also hit an Edward Jones three-point field goal. Bertram, as I mentioned, with her five points. And Edward Jones three as well. Three from Sarah Sutton, and that coming from beyond the arc. Three rebounds for Sutton in the first half to go with an assist and a steal. And two points for Kayla Luby to round out the scoring for the Lady Tigers, Maddie Boyle and Maddie Nally, both seeing time failing to score for Campbellsville. For Shawnee State, they go just uh, seven deep in the first half. They get uh, 11 points from Marnay Holland out of the starting lineup. Holland with three rebounds, five of seven from the field. Eight points from Jada Johnson, who uh, chipped in three boards in the first half. Four points from Tanisha Murphy. Two rebounds, two assists, two steals for Murphy there in the first frame. And uh, Cam Elzey had two out of the starting lineup. She had six assists for Shawnee State, two each for Alira Nelson Elias and uh, Karima Nix from uh, Shawnee State off the bench. And uh, rebounding, Campbellsville out rebounded 14 to 12. The difference coming on the offensive end, two extra offensive rebounds for Shawnee State as uh, the Lady Tigers finished with 12 assists, four steals, and seven turnovers. So we talked about the turnovers at one point for the Lady Tigers. From that point on, they did not turn it over uh, the remainder of the first half, and they forced four on Shawnee State. They went from six to ten, nine assists, five steals, ten turnovers on the Bears. So the Lady Tigers started to maybe turn up the intensity a bit, get after Shawnee State, and it led to points. It led to a big run there to close out the first frame. And yeah, and it's what you're used to seeing this Lady Tiger team. So it took them almost 16 minutes before they really kind of got in their groove on the defensive end, creating turnovers, buckets on the other end. But not only that, extra opportunities. We, that's when we got our two offensive rebounds. Uh, you saw Caitlin Wilkes uh, kind of put on a, a show there where she's she's perfect here from the floor, three of three from uh, the field and two of two from the uh, from the free throw line. So that type of intensity is what uh, this Lady Tiger team needs to bring because the first 16 minutes, that intensity was on the Shawnee State side. Taking a look at the enhanced scoring numbers in the first half, points in the paint, Shawnee State with a two-point advantage, 16 to 14, off turnovers 13 to 10 in favor of the Lady Tigers. Second chance points, 6-2 in favor of Shawnee State, and bench points, 10-4 in favor of Campbellsville University. The score was tied twice. The lead changed hands seven times in what was a back-and-forth affair there in the first half. Shawnee State's largest lead, six points. We mentioned it coming uh, midway or so through that second quarter. They led 27-21, to 21, and that was the point in which the Lady Tigers would flip the script for the remainder of the half, and they lead by nine, which is the largest advantage for Campbellsville University here as we are at 
halftime. We will step away here and we'll come back shortly. We'll take a look at some of maybe the other scores around the Mid-South Conference and get you updated on that. The uh, Tigers coming your way at 3 o'clock as they'll battle Shawnee State, those two teams out on the court, getting some warm-up tosses in as we speak. At halftime, our score 38-29. to 29. The Lady Tigers lead Shawnee State. You're following Lady Tiger basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men, take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Thank you. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You could say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At AceYourRetirement.org, you can. Start with a free three-minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? To get free action items customized just for you. Get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. As a dad, every day is a challenge. To make sure that the time that I have, I spend with them. It doesn't matter how tired you are, you have to try and to teach them. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's... It's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are, that are my favorite. love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Jason, let's go see your room.
Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. score here at halftime. We're about 90 seconds away from getting the second half underway. And Benji, that first half kind of uh, ended in a, uh, a flurry there and uh, got tied up. I thought maybe Bailey Pettigo would have uh, a shot at a rebound. And uh, she and Murphy kind of get tangled up uh, a bit there. And Bailey may have gotten kicked this week. She, she got stepped on, uh, and, stepped on and kicked on, and pulled kicked. down. Oh, and uh, Rough go there for and see this official, he's going back, so Looking he's watching the ball. the ball. That needs to be the lead official picking that up. I mean, there was quite a bit of contact there. Yeah, it looked like Campbellsville might have, might have had a few seconds to extend. Uh, just couldn't quite come up with that loose ball quickly enough here as the uh, clock is down under a minute and the two teams getting some final instructions. Actually, Campbellsville out on the court. Ginger High Caldwell will walk over and talk to her point guard, Lauren Lee. I mentioned there when we went to break that we'd come back and talk about some of the well, scores they're all from in the, the Central Time Zone. So we won't do that. They're all getting ready to tip off in about the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, Pikeville down in Florida, they'll take on Warner today. Uh, of course, that's non-conference action, but that game not slated to tip off until 4 o'clock Eastern. So the rest of the games, Thomas Moore at Bethel, Wilberforce at Freed Hardeman, Cumberland's at Cumberland U, and Georgetown at UT Southern from uh, Thursday night. Georgetown, Cumberlands, Bethel, Thomas Moore, and Shawnee State were all winners uh, on Thursday in league play. Shawnee State knocking off Lindsey Wilson College. Shawnee State lost five straight to open their conference schedule before getting a couple of wins, and they seem to be playing better here. Lee gets around the screen there of Pritchett and had it knocked out of bounds at the last Second, looked like Warren Lee for a moment might have an easy lay-in. Third quarter here in the Powell Center. Pedigo in the corner right in front of the Lady Tiger bench as they go left to right in the second half. Pritchett three on the way. That is hard. Rebound long out to Wilkes. Lauren Lee thought about it, finds Pedigo. There's Pritchett, and now the entry. Wilkes quickly off the window. No good. Elsie claims the rebound, and here comes Shawnee State. Elsie left side, feeds one down low for Holland, who has to kind of save it, tap it to herself, save it, pitches it up to her sister, Markayla Holland. Now she's on the drive and leaves it with Murphy inside. Marnay Holland is fouled by Caitlin Wilkes. Little body bump there by Wilkes as uh, she was coming across the lane, her first here on the evening, so or the afternoon. First on the Lady Tigers as well in this third quarter. Elsie left side, Holland. That's Markayla Holland gonna drive in line. Finds Johnson, jumper from about eight feet, no good. Boyle, the rebound. Boyle has to rip it away and lost the ah. handle. It goes out of bounds. Maddie Boyle trying to keep it free. And there were three Shawnee State Bears around her. May have panicked a bit, took her eye off of it and drilled it right out of play. Yeah, it's uh, frustrating, and, and she knows it. I mean, it's, you had three people around you, and she's trying to get out and just a little hurried up there, and as a result, dropped it off of her uh, her foot. So, Elsie out front, waits Lee there to defend. 
working around Boyle now. Backs away, a little crossover driving. Shot over the top of Wilkes is no good, and Johnson comes across to knock it That's, away from Pettigo and get the lay in. Yeah, that said, that was extra chance, uh, second chance points. You just can't let this team stick around like that. Left side, Boyle. On up top, this is Pettigo. Open, won't shoot it. She'll drive out. Shooter here. Boyle, left side, three on the way. That is hard. And the rebound comes out long. Kayla Holland just couldn't find it. And Pettigo able to corral it. Wilkes and Boyle down there. Boyle saves it, but couldn't get it to Wilkes. And it goes out of bounds on the end line. So the Lady Tigers unable to get a second chance look of their own that trip. 38-31 the score. Elsie walks it ahead. I'm not sure Elsie's been out of this ball game. She has not played full 20 minutes. Left side, Marnay Holland, uh, or no, it's Murphy and Marnay Holland both playing the entire first half as well. Here inside, shot by Holland, no good. Pedigo shields off two would-be rebounders for Shawnee State, lets it go out of play, and with 7.57 to play in the third quarter, Campbellsville has it back. Lauren Lee in the logo at midcourt. Works right side off the Pritchett screen. They go back to Pritchett straight away. Three on the way. That is hard. Rebound batted and going to go out of bounds. Wilkes and Nelson Elias actually there before it goes out of play. And the arrow will go to Shawnee State here. Alira Nelson Elias in the lineup. Not a member of the starting Lineup, we take Markayla Holland out. Out front, Elsie on around Murphy. Elsie again. Lee pressures. Cross court pass to Murphy. She runs into Boyle, and Boyle's going to be called for the foul here. Two on Maddie Boyle, two on the Lady Tigers in the half. 38 31 remains our score. The Lady Tigers have yet to tally a point in the second half. Yeah, this is second half's kind of starting like the first half did, Matt. Uh, just not the intensity there that uh, that we saw. Ball knocked away from behind. We're going to have a foul called on Campbellsville. Maddie Boyle is going to pick up her third. I see uh, on a call like that, he's coming all the way across the court. you got to trust your partner there on the other side to be able to see that, and she held her whistle. So, 7-16 to play in the third quarter. Boyle checks out, Bertram in for Campbellsville. Johnson rolling to the rim, well, off balance, may have rushed that a bit. Campbellsville the rebound, Wilkes ahead to Lee. Has Bertram, left side, three on the way. Bang, Elizabeth Bertram with an Edward Jones triple. Yeah, there's the spark we needed here to start this second half. Bird off the bench. Textbook transition, penetration kick out, easy three. Murphy inside to Holland, back out. Now Murphy again off the wing, three on the way. Hard rebound, Bertram for Campbellsville. Bert is a nice job. She knew that trap was coming. And sprinting ahead now is Lauren Lee. Works away from Holland. Two defenders there. And now Lee going to be fouled by Murphy. Tanisha Murphy picks up her second, first on Shawnee State in the half. Jada Johnson will check out as Karima Nix back in. Campbellsville leads by 10, 41-31. Pedigo out front now, Lee back to Pedigo in the short corner. The entry looking for Wilkes, double team there. Wilkes is fouled underneath by Shawnee State and Karima Nix. Three on Nix, so that might Start the short in the bench for a coach, or I, I should say length in the bench should fouls become an issue. They've only went Shorten seven her stay yeah, in the that, game. That. Out top here, Lee has Bertram. Bert needed about a split second more yep. to shoot that. Lee will, left side three, no good, rebound to Nix. Elsie to the front court, greeted by Bertram at the three point line and backs away, leaves it momentarily gets it back. They go to Murphy. Now skip pass. This is Nelson Elias. Jumper from Nix is no good. Ball batted and the rebound shot no good from Nelson Elias. Nix has it. Has Murphy and back out top. They'll set it up. Shawnee State still on the offensive end here. Less than six minutes to play in the third quarter. 
Elsie left side, working around Bertram, lost the handle as they run into one another. Pritchett picks it up, Campbellsville can run. Lee, one dribble, bounces to Pritchett now. Entry, Wilkes between two defenders is fouled. We'll see if this is on Nix, it's not. It's on Alira Nelson Elias, that is her first three on Shawnee State. Caitlin Wilkes will go back to the free throw line here. 5.37 to play in the third quarter. Free throw for Wilkes is hard off the back of the iron. One more coming for Wilkes, and that one is well off the mark, left side. Wilkes hit two in the first half, this is two here. 41-31. Campbellsville the lead by 10 points. Out top, Nix with a basketball to Holland. Nix again, this is Elsie. Feeds one down low too far as Nelson Elias spills to the floor out of bounds. It will go to Campbellsville now. Markayla Holland back in. Alira Nelson Elias will check out. 5-16 to play. Third quarter. Lauren Lee left side. She has Bertram. Holds it momentarily. Back to Lee. Now Bert again in the corner. Short corner. Pritchett feeds it. Wilkes out. Open shooter. Bertram three. That is no good. Rebound to Pritchett for Campbellsville. Pritchett thought about it. Instead out top Lee. She thought about it. Now Bertram off the elbow. Feeds it inside to Wilkes. Triple team for a moment. Pedigo. Baseline J, that is strong, and the rebound to Marnay Holland. Good looks there for the Lady Tigers, just uh, didn't fall. But, man, they're triple team and quadruple team in Wilkes really, down low. Really packing it down inside, forcing Wilkes to give it up. Elsie, right side, Murphy, 15 to shoot, and we've got a whistle here, a timeout by Coach Burrows as he is unhappy with Shawnee State's half-court execution. This becomes a media stoppage. Four and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. 41-31. Lady Tigers lead it here on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Campbellsville advantage as we've got about 14 and a half minutes to play in this one third quarter. Campbellsville leads it. Lady Tigers and uh, Shawnee State have not gotten much done in this third quarter, Benji. Just a, a three to two output here. Yeah, we've played over the half the period. It's some sloppy, sloppy basketball on both ends uh, for both teams. Um, you know, it's it's there's no flow to it. But once again, I think this is the type of basketball that Shawnee wants to play. And uh, Campbellsville struggling with it. Nix inside has it knocked away from behind. And it will stay with Shawnee State as the official underneath asks for a little help. And this will bring us to another media timeout. Boy, I hate these rules. Four, yeah, they're different on oh, both. Well, the on the women's side, you've got that floating one in yeah. the first and third quarter, I guess. I still haven't quite figured it all the way out, but it's just... Why do you need, in the men's, you've got two. Yeah, you got the under, you under 12 and under six. Yeah, why yeah. do you have to have a third on the women's side? Um, they did it to speed up the game. I'm not sure that that's what they accomplished or not. Maybe they did, but uh, I'm all for that. We talked about my OCD on that conference schedule earlier. The uniformity would, would go a long way as well yeah. uh, on these uh, sides uh, as the uh, Lady Tigers off to our right here huddled up around Ginger High. Colvin Campbells will back in action on Thursday the 22nd. Miami Hamilton will visit the Powell Athletic Center. That is a late ad. The Lady Tigers for uh, a large portion of this first semester thought that they were just going to have 27 games. Finally Ginger High Colvin gets the uh, matchup with Miami Hamilton. 
here at home on the 22nd. Then they'll head to uh, Florida, uh, Florida, take on Florida Memorial and St. Thomas. And in between there, right after the Christmas holiday, they'll have that scrimmage. Uh, it's basically a, a scrimmage with UK uh, in Lexington. Yeah, closed, closed, closed door scrimmage. Yeah. Closed door scrimmage. But um, they've done that what last this four or five years. Yeah. yeah. So. Elsie hands it here to Holland, gets it back, yeah. and yeah. steps called on Elsie there. She kind of ran into Lee, trying to get a little space, shuffled the feet a bit. And the turnover on Shawnee State gives it back to Campbellsville. 41 to 31 remains the score. Sarah Sutton in the lineup for CU. Right side, Pritchett. And they sag off, three on the way. Bang, Courtney Pritchett knows what to do with yeah, that much space. You, you, can't, uh, you can't leave her open. She can, uh, she can knock it down from out there. If, they, if Courtney Pritchett, if there's one fault to her game, it's sometimes that maybe she's too unselfish. She it, could, it's exactly it, right. I am fine with her shooting the basketball Absolutely. 15 times a night. That's just not, that's not her style. Sutton, open left side, triple, bang. The Lady Tigers with back-to-back -back Edward Jones threes, and Coach Burroughs needs to talk about it again. Yeah, there we go. The energy here in the PAL. And it's funny how the Edward Jones three ball can do that to a it team, can. Benji Kelly. Well, you know, you, you get in a little run there, and uh, that's uh, Pritchett hits the three, then she makes the pass to an open Sutton for three. Uh, so Campbellsville here. Uh, only only knocking down threes here in this uh, third quarter, which uh, they've extended that lead to 16. So great uh, great little minute of basketball right there off that time, media timeout. Campbellsville 7 of 21 today from long range. They have struggled a bit shooting, especially based on their season averages. They're about 38.5% uh, from deep on the season. From, uh, from beyond the arc, they're third in the country in three-point percentage entering today that number's dipped a bit their field goal percentage number is about 10 percentage points lower than what it typically is but again as Benji mentioned credit Shawnee Absolutely. State this long athletic lineup that coach Burroughs has left out there for most of the day here inside Elsie sets up an easy lay-in for Holland yeah that's another another assist by Elsie she's uh it's a good pickup for Shawnee State to transfer from that's illegal yeah Lee is bumped out oh, front oh. by Murphy I thought they were going to get Pritchett there on an illegal screen. So Coach Burroughs, uh, Coach Burroughs asking what uh, the infraction was. Lee to inbound to Pritchett here, holds it. 3.15 to go. Lee working right wing, defended by Holland. Now Lee needs some help, has Sutton. Nine to shoot, baseline. Bertram thought about a little step back jumper. Instead, they go out top, open, Sutton, three, bang! Sarah Sutton again, and Edward Jones, three ball. Yeah, her third triple of the evening. Sarah Sutton with the shot clock running down. 50 to 33, Elsie left side. Markayla Holland gonna try the answer. That is strong, rebound is loose. I got shielded, Bailey That's on Murphy. to the table. And, Tanisha uh, Murphy. This will be four on Murphy. I have to have a conversation with Bailey. She's excited and stood up right in front of me there. <laughs> sure. As you would expect Check a in. teammate to do, yeah. cheering her team on. That foul on Murphy is her fourth. I, may, who I don't know if I gave that to somebody on the Lady Tiger. I may give that to Bailey. I'm over here running my mouth about her. The, uh, that's the fifth on Shawnee State, so it will send Sarah Sutton to the free throw line here for the Lady Tigers, and that free throw for Sutton. Puts her in double good. digits, and leading she, score yep. of the game. Now in double figures for the Lady Tigers. Second free throw good as well. Sutton with 11. 52-33 the score. Campbellsville up by 19. Elsie inside dishes one. It's a baseline jumper from Arne Holland. That is good. She is just smooth down there. Wow. Elsie with her eighth assist already here this evening. Lee leaves it out for Pedigo. Pedigo goes left side to Sutton. Entry to Luby. Needs some help. It is Bertram, and three seconds. Got three seconds called on Luby. Right at the time she let that pass go out to Bertram, the whistle sounded. 52-35 the score. Campbellsville struggled to start this third quarter, but they've gotten rolling here in the last few moments. Now up to 14 points in this third period, just over 2.15 to play now in the quarter. Out front, Elsie working against Bertram. Gets the screen into the corner. 
Markayla Holland can't shoot it, now drives, throws up a runner that is good, a little underhanded runner for Markayla Holland is good. Wow. 52-37 account, two minutes to play. Third quarter, Pettigo back out. Left side, Sutton, open, three. Bang, Sarah Sutton, have yourself an afternoon, young lady. She can feel it. She can feel it, and when she can feel it, Matt, watch out. Uh, yeah, that's – it's an easy offense for her. Yeah. Here's another kickback. See it. Lee going to push, looking for Sutton, who's driving off glass, no good. Pedigo and Nelson Elias tied up in there. Sarah was too close to the basket. That's, That's why she was. missed that. She to back up about, <laughs> what, 17, 17 feet. 18 feet, yeah. And uh, – the arrow, I never saw the signal, Benji. I think it That's stays Campbell's in Campbellsville. Should, yeah. Selena Eisenhart, uh, Selena Eisenhart going to check in. 5'8 junior guard from Edinburgh, Scotland. Your neck of the woods over yeah, there. Yeah, I've been it? there. Actually, uh, right before COVID. Nice, beautiful city. Bertram off the inbounds from Lee. I thought the South Paul was going to hoist it. Changed her mind. Now over the top looking for Luby. Couldn't quite finders that got knocked away. Pedigo knocks one out of bounds here as Eisenhart came up with it. Eisenhart played at Murray State College. Yes. Uh, I had never heard of Murray State College, but I'm sure you being from Murray, you that has I saw to come it. up a it few does. times. It does. Murray State, you know, being from Scotland, but yeah, you, you, you it's rare. Uh, Murray State University, and actually I think they have a partnership together, if I'm not mistaken. Driving in here. Yeah, An academic partner. Well, this one, I think this one may have been the junior college in Oklahoma. I think there's multiple. Oh, the really? State oh, okay. colleges. Yeah. So okay. there's because uh, it looked like she had the uh, the uh, player page on there. Turnover on Shawnee State. Back to work here of the Lady Tigers as Maddie Boyle re-enters. Lauren Lee will check out. 55-37. Your score. Campbellsville has opened it up a bit thanks to the long ball. Luby. Going to go up off glass, no good. Holland, nice defense down inside, gets the rebound. LZ the other way now for Shawnee State. Goes long, far side. Eisenhart in rhythm, long two, oh. good for Selena Eisenhart. That's a, that's a pretty shot right there. High arching. Out to Sutton, open three. A little heat check perhaps. That one's off the mark. Bertram the rebound, needs some help. She's fouled as... Nelson Elias kind of draped over the arms of Bertram as she was trying to pitch that ball down inside. This will send Bert to the free throw line. That's two fouls on Alira Nelson Elias. 55-39 the score. Campbell's was largest lead, I believe, was 19. Free throw here for Bert is good. Averaging 10 and a half points on the season is Bertram, she's up to nine now, and she's in double figures joining Sarah Sutton. Pritchett and Lauren Lee both have nine points. Elsie on the dribble, creates some space, and what do we got? Offensive foul, she runs over Maddie Boyle. Nice, nice job there by Boyle. And that foul on Elsie is her Third, second, excuse me. Left side, Sutton defended by Eisenhart. Back out to Pedigo. 13 seconds left in this third quarter. Sutton on the dribble, looking, rolling. Look, wanted Luby. There's too much on it. Jada Johnson comes out of there with it. Five seconds. Elsie and the Bears will have to hurry. Left side has Eisenhart. Sutton flies out, got a hand on it, and that's where the third quarter will come to a close. The Lady Tigers. We'll head to the fourth quarter with an 18-point advantage, 57 to 39. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Jason, let's go see your room.
57-39 your score as we head to the fourth quarter. Matt Payton, Benji Kelly at the Pow Center in Campbellsville. The Lady Tigers leading by 18 points, looking for win number 11. And the long ball there in the third quarter got Campbellsville rolling. Sarah Sutton doing her part. Benji Kelly, she leads the Lady Tigers in scoring. Today she's hit four. Edward Jones, three-point field goal. She has a team high 14 points and it's been uh, a work in progress for her to get her back to this stage but seeing her shoot the ball with that much confidence is awfully awfully fun if you're a fan of the maroon and gray oh, yeah we've seen it so many times especially last year she got on a run and when she gets hot like that uh she is the one of the most deadliest shooters that has probably come through this program left side bertram holds eisenhart defense they'll come out top wide open pritchett three bang Courtney Pritchett again from deep. And speaking of a deadly three-point shooter, Courtney Pritchett can oh, you can put her in that category as well. Dozen today for Pritchett. Johnson going to throw up nice move. a shot here that is good. Pritchett closing in as Holland is upset, and she's barking at the official. And I'm not sure exactly. Usually don't see that in-game uh, player and official stop to conversate. But uh, Pritchett with 12 points today is 873 in her career. She creeps closer to 900, and hopefully this season will surpass 1,000. Boyle out of the wing left side, comes back to Pedigo near side. Free throw line, Luby hands it back. Pritchett on the dribble. This is Pedigo in the corner. Now the entry, Luby out, Boyle open, three. That is off the mark to the right side. Holland the rebound, Marnay Holland ahead here to Elsie in the corner, Eisenhart, a rhythm triple, no good. Rebound long, Luby able to grab it between defenders, or uh, Bears I should say, Pettigo. Left side of the lane, dribbled it right off her leg I believe. 8.35 to play, Campbellsville leads by 19 points, 60 to 41. Shawnee State averages about 66 and a half points per ball game. So the Lady Tigers have really held them down today. Jada Johnson, a baseline jumper, and as I say that, she scores two more. Well, Shawnee State, they've got these mid-range jumpers down pat. They've hit several of them this afternoon. Had to go underneath. Wants Luby and Elsie read it, steals it. Shawnee State back to the offensive end. Bertram going to be called for the foul here. She closes in on Elsie. That'll be the third on Burt. First on the Lady Tigers in the period. Lauren Lee and Caitlin Wilkes will check back in. Luby and Pedigo will exit. The whole uh, Pedigo clan here today. Yeah. I believe uh, some of them are going to be making that trip next, next week down to Florida. Several parents, I think, will be. Well, that's uh, always a fun time. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a little tough around the holidays, but uh, nice to get away and... Enjoy the sunshine. Elsie, a three-point shot, no good. Rebound to Pritchett, long ahead. Has Bertram. Bertram, left block, off glass, no good. Wilkes, the rebound, the stick back won't go. And the rebound now to Jada Johnson. Elsie between the circles. Backs away as Boyle hangs out right there with her. And now we've got a timeout. It looks like maybe Alira Nelson Elias had lost an eye. <laughs> Contact popped out. She's going to try to get that taken care of. It's got to be frustrating as a player. You know, you rely on those, and one of them They can pop out, pops out for gotta, fairly easy. I remember one year we all laying down on the floor trying to trying see if we could yeah, find, find it. find one. Elsie inside had Eisenhart. Couldn't catch it cleanly, and Pritchett grabs it for CU. 60-43. to 43. Pritchett ahead has Bertram. Wilkes spinning out to Boyle. Now Lee, top of the key jumper. Good for Lauren Lee. Good ball movement, good transition offense there by the Lady Tigers. Find an open lead from about the top of the key. 62-43, Johnson underneath. Pitches one back out. Holland, that's Markayla Holland. On around Eisenhart. Marnay Holland circles, spins. Going to drive in, throws up a runner that is good with the right hand. They've got a lot of points in the paint here this evening. 26 points in the paint to Campbellsville's 14. Bertram to Boyle. Right side, Pritchett decks it back out. Boyle again, Lee on the left wing. They want Wilkes, get it 
to her. Double team comes, Boyles open. Now it's Pritchett left side, triple. Bang! Courtney Pritchett again with an Edward Jones triple. Yeah, good, good pass there by Maddie Boyle. Maddie struggled a little bit from the field tonight, but she knows to get the ball to the one who can knock it down. Elsie inside, across the lane, throws it away. Bertram to the other end. She's got numbers. Bertram left side, hands it to Lee, off the window, no good. And the rebound taken in by Markayla Holland. 65-45, largest lead of the day coming off that Courtney Pritchett three. She is now Campbellsville's leading scorer with 15 points. Markayla Holland looking into the corner. This is Johnson, contested three over Wilkes is good. Wilkes just a whisker late getting out. Jada Johnson 0 of 2 on the season from long range, so I'm not sure the scouting report said close out too strongly. Today's basketball, though, Benji, everybody's capable everybody's of getting one at some point. That's right. Bertram out top. Driving is Pritchett back out to Boyle. 13 to shoot. Pritchett needs some help. Inside has Wilkes, who lobs one back out. Bert's going to have to catch it. Six seconds. Lee. Extra pass. Corner. Pritchett. Three. Just short. And Eisenhart the rebound for Shawnee State. 65-48. The score, Elsie to Johnson again. Three from Jada Johnson. Wow. How about that? Back to back. Jada Johnson, not known for her outside shooting. She's hit a couple here in this fourth quarter, last few trips. 65-51 the score. Boyle right side, Lee holds it. Working on the dribble, on around. Pritchett to Boyle, now Bertram. Boyle again, Lee straight away, right side. Pritchett driving in behind the back. Feeds one down inside. It's poked away. Wilkes with five seconds. And not sure what was said there, but one of the players for Shawnee State said something that quickly drew comments from an official. The turnover will go against Campbell's, but it looked like Wilkes may have shuffled down in there, Benji. I was kind of straight line. Yes, yeah, she did. And this will bring us to a media stoppage with 440 to play in the ball game. 65. 51 the score, the Lady Tigers lead by 14. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Worried about your friend, but don't know how to reach out? You could say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could chat with them in VR. It's so good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Fifty-one. The Lady Tigers lead Shawnee State here in the Powell Athletic Center, Campbellsville, wrapping up their first semester Mid South Conference play here this afternoon. They uh, are four minutes and forty seconds away from moving to eight zero in league play. That's uh, perfect here in the first half of the season. They would be eleven zero overall. And today, eleven made Edward Jones threes for the Lady Tigers is certainly been uh, the difference. Shawnee State and Campbellsville have made virtually the same number of field goals, but Campbellsville has 11 outside makes. Shawnee State just two of nine from deep. Yeah, and those last two uh, possessions for Shawnee have been three, so. Eisenhart going to try a three. That's around and out. No good. Rebound taken in by Johnson. Jada Johnson goes across the paint to Markayla Holland. Out to Elsie. Left side. Elsie on the end line. Goes underneath. Underneath to, that's Eisenhart. She'll go up with a shot, no good. Pritchett the rebound and she is fouled. That is on Marne Holland. Two on Marne Holland and the first on Shawnee State in the period. Bertram back in here for CU. Lee to Boyle, now Sutton off the wing. Back to Boyle, inside Pritchett, Boyle cuts. Pritchett leaves it with her, now left side open, three, Sutton. Bang, so Sutton again, a dozen makes from long range. Wow, good ball movement again for the Lady Tigers and they just find the open Sutton in the wing. 68-51, 
Driving in. Charge. Kayla Holland. That's going to be a, ooh, a block on Courtney Pritchett. Hmm. Pritchett picks up her second two on the Lady Tigers as a team, and Markayla Holland will go to the free throw line. Sixty-eight-six. Uh, excuse me, sixty-eight fifty-one. Free throw here is good for Holland. One more coming her way on the season. Sixty-six percent at the line. Second free throw is good. She gets both. 68-53. Boyle off the right wing. Pritchett at the elbow. Out. Open. Sutton. Three. That is off the mark. Has gun. Will shoot. 68-53. It's pass inside to Markayla Holland. Rebound to Bertram on the miss. Bert needs some help. And long ahead has Sutton, who has Lee. Lee going to work right side, bounces underneath. That is Boyle off the window. Good for two more. She gets the finish. Lauren Lee the fine. Yeah, good job, Lauren Lee there. Took an extra dribble to bring the defender to her. Was able to kick it to Boyle. 70 to 53. Marnay Holland shot no good. Rebound Sutton. The other way, and we've got a whistle here. And... Coach Burroughs and one of the officials having a conversation. Now, Benji, I'm, do you, if you I, stop I've like stopped that, it's the whistle, be a warning, a, a warning or, or, a tech, or something. Right? So, yeah. Has to be, we'll see if there's anything in the book here. Coach Burroughs just uh, obviously fighting for his team. 70 53. Three minutes to play. Campbell's with a 17-point advantage. Lauren Lee out top to Pritchett. Back to Lee inside. Lauren Lee the deuce and Courtney Pritchett the dime. Yeah, nice little backdoor give and go type play. Pritchett, her seventh assist on the inside night. Inside, Elsie throws up a shot. Late whistle here as she kind of almost stumbled into. Yeah. Pritchett, oh, they're going to call that on Boyle. So Boyle maybe that says, in. maybe that's why she stumbled into Pritchett. So that's uh, the fourth on Boyle, three on Campbellsville as a team. Elsie back to the line here for Shawnee State. Free throw on the way is good for Cam Elsie. 2.39 to go. One more coming her way. And this free throw is good. So Elsie gets both, 72-55 the score. Lauren Lee out to Sutton, now Boyle. Left side Bertram. Bertram gonna drive in, throws one up, underhanded good for Elizabeth Bertram. Yeah, she layup. set that up with a ball fake, a pass fake, and uh, the defense kind of reacted to it, and the baseline opened wide open for her. Out top, Johnson going to work around right side. Throws one up over wow. Pritchett that is good. Nice play. 74-57. Just over two minutes to go here. Lee inside. Going to take a shot. Ball is uh, nearly Locked. knocked away as she split defenders, and then Markayla Holland blocked it. Murphy into the corner. Out. Markayla Holland has Johnson. And now Jada Johnson going to take the pull-up jumper. That's no good. Long rebound out to Murphy, who runs into Lauren Lee. And we're going to have a blocking foul. Nope. Offensive foul called against Kanisha Murphy. That's, that's it. Five on Murphy. She'll check out two on Shawnee State as a team. And uh, for Murphy, she'll finish with four points, four rebounds, and uh, two assists. Maddie, uh, or uh, yeah. Lauren just actually got right outside of the restricted circle. She was pretty close there. I thought they were going to call her on a block, being that close to the restricted circle, but good job to hold her ground there and take the charge. Left side Bertram working against Nelson Elias. Pritchett, ball fake, driving in, and we've got a whistle here against Nix. Oh, no, they call that on Marnay Holland. 
That's three on Holland. I thought Nix was going to assess that personal. Bertram going to check out. Campbellsville sends Bailey Pettigo back in with 136 to play. Lee to trigger it. Finds Boyle. Back to Lee. Skips it. Right side. Pritchett won't shoot it. Pettigo looking inside. Ball knocked out of bounds by Holland as she rejected the pass attempt. 13 on the shot clock here. Holland has given the Lady Tigers some fits. Her defense today. Left side, Pedigo, nine seconds. Bounces to Pritchett. Holds. Shovels it. Sutton steps up. Three on the way. Bang! Sarah Sutton has 20 tonight. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say, Matt. 57, wow. Sutton's new career high. And we got a foul underneath on here Pettigo. on Pedigo. That's her second. Sarah Sutton with Sutton. six made, Edward Jones threes in the ball game. 20 points to lead the way. Elsey going to pitch it in. Needs some help out to Nelson Elias. Now Johnson again, wide open. Jada Johnson, she has had quite a ball game herself here. That's a career high for Sutton. Yes, Sutton's 20 is a career best. Johnson has... Jada Johnson has 25 points. She has been terrific. I knew she had uh, stepped up and hit some big threes in the second half. Kind of a quiet 25. Johnson had eight at halftime. So, uh, it only averages three a game. Yeah, I mean, she has really stepped up today for Coach Burroughs and company, junior out of Nashville. Played at Motlow State there uh, for a bit. Tigers have a couple of Motlow State guys on there. They do team as uh, Chase Wallace and Darius Key most recently and then Darius Harding spent time at Motlow before he transferred to Northern Kentucky. I think uh, at one point we I was hoping DH was going to be here today. I haven't seen him yet. I know the Tigers were uh, anxious to see him. Uh, they've not laid eyes on him since that surgery right. but uh, we'll, we'll touch on that during our men's game here with 61 seconds to play. Here the last little bit, the Lady Tigers have went with that small lineup, Benji. They've had and, and that's Wilson, kind of been Lindy, a little yeah, bit of the helped, little so. bit of the difference yeah. maker because it's it's forced yeah. Shawnee uh, Bigs to kind of come out and they just can't uh, they can't compete with our uh, three point shooters. Here is Pedigo racing ahead. Here comes the trap. She finds Boyle who has to jump up to keep it. And now nice job by Maddie Boyle to sense some pressure. Holds on to it. Waits for Lee. They bounce high post to Pritchett inside cutting as Boyle. She'll circle back out with it off the wing right side. Here is Pedigo driving inside. She needs help and that's picked off by Elsie. And Elsie the other way. It's knocked out of bounds by Lauren Lee with 33 seconds on the clock here. 26 on the shot clock. Pritchett will check out. Lauren Lee will check out for Campbellsville. 77-60 the score. Lady Tigers going to pick up the win here today. Elsie to pitch it in. Has Nix, and Nix lost the handle right out of bounds with 30.8 seconds to play. Well, Matt, it hasn't been pretty, but Campbellsville finally got that lead and was able to extend it, and uh, this second half had just been shooting lights out. So hard-fought game, and we knew it was going to be a scrappy game because that's how Shawnee likes to play, but this is a good victory headed into the uh, non-conference schedule. Sutton inside finds Louie. <laughs> not much room for the pass, no. maybe even less room to get the shot off, and the Lady Tigers come up with a bucket, and uh, that will do it. There's about yeah. a second differential, so the Lady Tigers are going to have to do something, and Coach Burroughs and uh, Ginger High Colvin will exchange pleasantries there at midcourt, and the Lady Tigers pick up the win. 79 to 60, the final score. Campbellsville will improve to 11 and 0 overall. They move to 8 and 0 in Mid South Conference play. Shawnee State falls to 5 and 10 on the season. They are now 2 and 7 in Mid South Conference play. The Lady Tigers will be back in action against Miami Hamilton at 6 p.m. on Thursday here in the Powell Center. The Lady Tigers will uh, have that one final game before the Christmas holiday, and then on the 29th and 30th down in Florida, the uh, Lady Tigers will take on Florida Memorial and St. Thomas as uh, we're going to wait for the uh, camera a bit here as the head coach will don the headset in just a moment. The 
Tigers and Bears coming your way here in about 20 minutes or so as they throw up 20 minutes on the clock. That'll actually have to go, I think, to about 27 minutes as uh, they won't start the game early, I don't believe. We'll double check on that. Sheldon, can you go in 20 or do you have to wait until three? You're gonna, can you go in 20 or are you gonna wait till three? Seventy nine sixty the final score. The Lady Tigers knocking off Shawnee State here. Matt Payton with the head coach, Ginger High. Calvin, coach, you, you mentioned a couple of times that's the best team in the country with nine losses. That is a I really that. good Shawnee State club. And to their credit, they made things really good. I felt like uh, you guys ended up getting rolling a bit. You hit some shots from deep, but they certainly made you work this mm -hmm. afternoon. Yeah, the, if they're in another conference, they've not got that many right. losses. I, I can promise you that. And they've played uh, – They've played us close. They've played um, Georgetown close. They've played University of the Cumberland's close. And they played Thomas Moore close. So that's, you know, four teams that will be national tournament teams. And then you've got Shawnee State with the guard transfer from UNLV. They just – they're long. They're quick. Uh, they don't have a tremendous amount of depth. But he's got some kids that can come out and, and cause a lot of issues for you. But and, and certainly a team in the second half of the season, they're probably going to pick off some folks. Uh, yeah, throughout, I'm just glad they didn't the pick anybody off. The they, they didn't pick anybody <laughs> off here at home. And we'll start with Sarah Sutton, coach. She is mm -hmm. uh, she's so fun to watch. Uh, today, I think it was as, as big as an ocean for her. Uh, it was uh, get the ball, get it set, and get yeah. it out of your hands. And she finishes with a new career high, 20 points. She made six three-point field goals in this one today and, mm -hmm. and she was certainly fun to watch she's she's always fun to watch and she only hit one the first half right is that right uh, let's see the uh i think she was one for four the first half maybe one for four you are and correct. then she hit five the second half so that's a good second half to come out with that's a good for me when i played that's a good re year yeah, yeah so uh that's a good second half for her to come out and and hit those and give us a little bit of momentum we had no momentum and um they just kind of took took it from us they came out and had a great play the first play we fell asleep got a three-point play and from the bang just got us got us on our heels and uh we didn't respond as well as i wanted us to respond and i understand it's christmas break i understand all that stuff but shawnee state traveled all the way down here and uh, they didn't use that as an excuse so we've got to get a little bit better mentally undetermined if they were on snowflake lane at any point during <laughs> their trip but we'll talk about that at another time uh today you guys got down 27 21 and you ended the first half on a 17 to 2 sprint anything in there that you guys changed did differently just maybe more attention to detail that certainly seemed like a big stretch in the in the contest well, our post had it was really hard on our post today because they really spread you out and their guards really could get to the lane and uh so we we went small for a, a small portion of that time and put Courtney in the middle and that helped somewhat and I know uh, you know we talk about kids all the time Bailey Pedigo we're down seven I think and and she cans a three and gives us a little bit of uh, just we get it right back I think that was the the best part about it is we just turned around and got that right back and um, we just got kids that can make plays. Courtney Pritchett finishes with 15 points six rebounds eight assists coach there are uh, two steals in the game there are just times she just makes it look so easy and effortless yeah uh, I, we've talked about this before she spoils us uh, i think oh, yeah. at times by by how unassuming yep. and uh you know anytime she holds it you're just waiting for something special to oh, happen yeah. but uh today again eight assists from that four spot it, you just don't see that a lot. no it's not and i want i want an official stat be, to be made for charges taken uh, I think that's an important part of the game. She stands in there and takes charges. I think she took two today. Um, but, yeah, it would be nice if that were an official stat, too. But, yes, yeah, she spoils us. She spoils our team. That's one thing I fussed on them at halftime about is we want to get it to Courtney and let Courtney make all the decision-making instead of – because I felt like the first half there were some times when we had the ball on the wing and could have hit Kate. And instead, we throw it to Courtney and ask her to make the play. Uh, we've got to be playmakers and step up, and we've got to do better in that aspect, too. 20, uh, talk about making plays, finding playmakers, 26 assists on 28 made buckets. Everybody got into my act. Mm -hmm. We talked about Courtney Lauren Lee and Maddie Boyle both uh, had a handful uh, of assists today. What is it about your offense that uh, allows you to be so efficient in that category? Um, well, uh, we, we're smaller. And then our, our post players, I'm not sure what Kayla's uh, uh, percentage is, but our both, both of our post players shoot it at a very high percentage. So you can get the ball to them just about any time. And then uh, the, the kids don't care to share the ball. You've got two point guards on the floor when we start the game. So in Bailey Pedigo and Lauren Lee, you both have kids that share the ball. And then when you have your four man that can pass the ball like she can, I think that just kind of sets the tone about just 
finding that open man and, and pushing it. Just one, one more pass, one pass farther. One thing we always talk about, you get to the Christmas holiday undefeated in conference play. That's you, you exhale a little bit. Every time you can you can get those conference wins yep. and, and hold serve uh, at home certainly makes you feel well. Uh, you got one more game before mm -hmm. the Christmas holiday. You still have three non-conference games right. left, which is almost unheard of this, uh, this late in the yeah. season. It's just how the schedule fell yep. for you guys. But, uh, you know, you get a couple days off and you get ready for uh, – you know Miami Hamilton to come in here mm -hmm. on Thursday before the holiday. That's uh, I hate the term trap game, but that feels like one right know, before right? the Christmas yes. break, right before the trip to Florida. Yes, you have to, you have to certainly be on your toes. Well, you know we 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 got that game really late, and uh, so we had to uh, to get something in there, and that works. And then we've all we've got a, a a scrimmage that we work in with a D1 team in the state, and we always are able to do that either right before or right after Christmas. So we always have that to. To fall back on too but um and then we go down to to miami and play two teams one team's undefeated at, the point, at this point i think and the other one maybe two losses yeah florida memorial's playing pretty well st so, thomas still yeah undefeated. one top receiving 15, votes yeah. yeah so uh oh top 15. There, yeah i think st thomas, thomas is, was top 15. they're um that last poll came out and oh well maybe not i, I think they were they receiving were. votes okay. i think so, okay. st francis so maybe, is in that top 15. Maybe so that's what i'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah they were receiving votes but two two good teams when we go down there and then uh Miami Hamilton coming in here, and like you said, we don't want it to be a trap game. We want to make sure we we come in ready to play. And you kind of, like I said today, you look at you look at Shawnee State's record, and you cannot you cannot judge them on that record. You just can't. Quirky enough, here you are in December. You still have two undefeated teams at the moment left on your schedule. That's kind of uh, great <laughs> right. job, Coach. Yeah, uh, thanks. Appreciate that. Part of it. Um, but uh, congratulations on this one, and uh, we'll see you on Thursday okay. against Miami Thanks, Hamilton. Matt. Lady Tigers again victorious as they pick up the win here over Shawnee State today. 79-60, to 60, your final score. And uh, I think Coach ran off with the final game stat sheet. No, uh, here's the second one. We'll uh, – take a look at it quickly. Campbells will finish his 45% from the field today. They were 28 of 62, 13 of 31 from deep, 13 Edward Jones payouts, 41.9% there for Campbellsville, 83.3% at the free throw line. There were 10 of 12 here today. For Shawnee State, they finished just under 40% shooting. They were 23 of 58. They were 27% from deep, 3 of 11, and 11 of 11 at the free throw line. A, a perfect 100% uh, there, of course. Campbellsville gets a Team high 20 from Sarah Sutton off the bench. Six made Edward Jones threes for Sutton on 11 tries. She had four rebounds and two assists today. They got 15 out of the starting lineup for Courtney Pritchett. Pritchett creeps closer to 900 points in her career. A lot of crooked numbers for Swiss. Six rebounds, eight assists, two steals for her today. Six of 10 from the floor. She hit three. Edward Jones three-point field goals also. The uh, Lady Tigers get a baker's dozen from Lauren Lee to go with five dimes. They get a dozen from Elizabeth Bertram, four rebounds, two assists, two steals from Burt. Eight points from Caitlin Wilkes, who had four rebounds, three of five shooting for Wilkes today. Five points from Bailey Pettigo, two boards, three dimes for Bailey. Four from Kayla Luby, and uh, two points from Maddie Boyle, and that rounds out the scoring. Boyle finishes with five assists. Also, Maddie Nally and Bree Gowdy both saw some time failing to score. Gowdy checking in extremely late there, the last uh, 30 seconds or so for the Lady Tigers. Jada Johnson led Shawnee State. She had 25 points today. They got 17 from Marnay Holland. Four each from Tanisha Murphy, Cam Elsey, and Markayla Holland. Two apiece from Selena Eisenhart, Alira Nelson Elias, and uh, Karima Nix. Rebounding, Campbellsville out-rebounded by three, 30 to 27 here today, 9-7 on the offensive end in favor of Shawnee State. The Lady Tigers finished with 26 assists, seven steals, and 16 turnovers, 18 assists, nine steals, 19 turnovers on Shawnee State here this afternoon. Points in the paint, six-point advantage for the Bears, 28-22. Campbellsville with the advantage off turnovers, 23-16. Second chance points, 8-4 in favor of Shawnee State, and bench points 36-6 in favor of the Lady Tigers. Twice the score was tied. The lead changed hands seven times. Campbellsville's largest advantage was 21 points. For Shawnee State, their largest lead was uh, six points. That coming midway uh, through the, the second quarter, they were up 27 
to 21. The Lady Tigers closed on a 17 to 2 sprint to end the first half and really never looked back from that point. And that's where this game comes to an end. 79 60, your final score. We'll step away, take an extended break here, come back and bring you men's coverage as we get set for the Tigers and Bears here. Stay with us on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. When I got the opportunity to get her, it wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men. Take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Thank you. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You can say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You can ask with an app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At AceYourRetirement.org, you can. Start with a free three-minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? To get free action items customized just for you. Get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. It's a dad. Every day is a challenge. To make sure that the time that I have, I spend with them. It doesn't matter how tired you are. You have to try and to teach them. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's... It's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are, that are my favorite. If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Jason, let's go see your room. No. No, 
Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. Back inside the PAL Center, Matt Payton and Benji Kelly with you. We're going to have to fight off Buford Sanders over here. He's about to take what's left of my chicken sandwich here. Well, that, and you got, we got some fudge but, yeah, the, here. The, that, feast, uh, the, the feast, feast has brought us some fudge. Now, so, listen. Is that high that's level? That's really good. It's high level. You pop that peanut butter fudge right now, and I'm not going to hear anything out of you until okay. the starters are announced. All right, well, I'll wait. Now, you do what you want to no, do, and fine. I'll carry this thing. No, that's fine. Uh, but I'm I'll just wait. telling you, that's going to take a minute You've to already had through. a bite. I had a piece. I sampled <laughs> it. Uh, I tried it for you to make sure that it was, it was fitting to eat, there as we go. they say. And it certainly, it certainly is. is. I should tell you it's terrible, and I'll just uh, take pack, the rest that, of it pack home. that away there you go. Uh, in my backpack down here. <laughs> but uh, we, we certainly that's thank a true, that's Norman a true and his wife for that. Hey, with friends like me, the Tigers and Bears getting set to take to the floor here, Benji. And it's a Tiger team that desperately needs something positive to happen. These two teams kind of it started out the same way. And I think Coach Thomas has figured out how his team uh, plays best or how they work best. For Campbellsville, still trying to figure out some things. We talked about Darius Harding, him being out. He's here visiting uh, with Derek Port behind us as we speak. It's the first time he's been here since his surgery. You see Mark Vernon, excuse me, go back there. So he's, you know, he's getting a chance to talk to Darius. He's going to miss the year. They're going to redshirt him. and yep. It's next year. So you kind of have to – now you have to move on, right? You have you to do. process that. Okay, that stinks. Uh, the guy that we were going to lean on heavily to be one of our best scorers, he wasn't right last year. You look at the numbers and you may say, that was the guy you were going to trust. Well, that's because he played hurt. He well, played on one leg all season last he year. He did. And, you know, he's such an explosive player that when that knee is not where it needs to be, it affects – it affects how you play, and you could tell that uh, he was trying to overcompensate for it. So it's the right decision. Get it right. I, I believe he still has what two two more years. Uh, I think I want, uh, I'm thinking one, okay. but either way, I didn't um, know if he was get that COVID year extra or not. I think he played two at Motlow, one at Northern, at, and then one here last year. And then gets the I COVID think. year. So okay. And then he gets the COVID year. So. so, but yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, you you going into the season thinking, all right, this is our guy, and then. Uh, you know, you have a season injuring uh, or season ending uh, injury that uh, that he had to take care of, which he has. I just talked to him. He said, man, I feel great. I feel much better than I did the last time I had this surgery. The doctor said it went well. So that's all signs are pointing toward a, a good recovery for him. And, and then you couple that with Trayshawn yes. Smoots, a guy you bring in from northern Colorado, who I'm still really excited about. We saw glimpses. I'm telling you, Lindsey Wilson, yeah. that kid's talented. He is. Uh, but unfortunately, right now, he's just got to get healthy. Right. And Coach Vernon made the decision a few weeks ago. He, he kind of uh, – that hamstring never was right. And rolled the ankle, was right. dealing with some stuff, and they were going to shut him down up until Christmas. Uh, he told Trayshawn, go home, yeah. get your mind get your right, mind, yeah. reset, and let's get back healthy for the second semester. So the Tigers have been without him also. And, you know, it's a long way around saying it's a team right now that just isn't what Coach Vernon had envisioned when he brought everybody in. And you know how it goes, Benji, when you start to – to take away some of your best pieces, it forces others into roles yeah. that maybe they are comfortable being in, but it's not the best suit for their it, skill it, sets. It's and, not. you know, it, it impacts everything on down the line. It does. And here, here's another thing. You, if you can get a victory some here today, behind me there. Um, if you can get a victory here tonight, then they're going to get a little break where they can kind of go home, reset, get their mind back in the right place. And, Matt, we're right there. 
I mean, you know, we had a big lead on Freed Hardman, who's actually leading the conference now uh, with, with about five minutes to go. We were up eight. We lost three games here at the PAL uh, by a total of, what, uh, 10 points, I believe. Heartbreakers. Uh, yeah. So instead of being 1-7, this team could actually be right at, right at almost like 4-4, four 3-5 and four, and five at the worst in the conference, which is a totally different than where they're at right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, the, the conversations are, are different, certainly, uh, if you are able to pick up uh, one or, or two of those or, or who knows uh, even more. But uh, anyway, so, so Campbellsville has had to, uh, on the fly, just kind of readjust and, and figure this thing out. Uh, for Shawnee State, I think that's kind of where Coach Thomas and his group are. They're eight and six overall, four and four in conference play. Uh, they have a non-conference win, a common opponent in Rio Grande. Campbellsville also knocked off Rio Grande. They beat St. Francis Southeastern and IU Kokomo. They lost to Union College and Marion, two top 25 teams. So their schedule has been very difficult. They lost three conference games out of the gate, Bethel, Freed, Hardeman, and U-Pike. So they started out uh, poorly in conference play. Then they knocked off Georgetown, Wilberforce, Thomas Moore, and Lindsey. Uh, a loss in there also to Cumberlands along the way, and that's that 4-4 four four record for Shawnee State here as uh, we get set for tip-off in just a moment. We'll track down. you got the starters over there for me, do, so we'll yeah. have those. Uh, and I didn't get pronunciations on Shawnee State. Uh, there, I didn't see anyone from their men's team before, so this is not going to be uh, pretty on a few of these guys. Um, but uh, we'll do our best. If anybody from Shawnee State is listening and they want to email me pronunciations, I didn't get a roster or anything, so uh, if they have that, they're more than welcome to grab my email off the website and we'll uh, be happy to adjust but uh, otherwise we'll go with the as, as they used to say in school right sound it out and uh, always work when it comes to the proper nouns you did it you went for it you can't say anything to tell people uh, what is, you've done but, that is really but, good but you went for it that's I, really I good you, I wouldn't lie to you oh uh, I'm going to have to get in there and count those pieces, make sure we get those divvied up evenly here. Uh, the Shawnee State Bears lineup being announced. Delano Thomas in his sixth season, assisted by Lyndall Yarbrough, Jack Trainer, and DeAndre Price. They send out Felix, oh boy, Felix Yadali. I don't know. Uh, I got nothing there. 6'6", uh, six, six junior forward from Hampton, Georgia. Trey Bumgarner, 6'1", a junior guard from Columbus, Ohio. Jaden Geis, 6'1", a sophomore guard from Westerville, Ohio. And Brandon Beaver, 6'2", a junior guard from Columbus, Ohio. Rounding out the five for Shawnee State is Latavius Mitchell, 6'8", a sophomore forward from Indianapolis, Indiana. For the Tigers, Brent Vernon in his seventh season, assisted by Mark Vernon, Peyton Holsey, and Alec Williams. They send out Jace Wallace, 6'6", a junior forward from Lexington, Kentucky. Keaston Brown, 6'1", a junior guard from Lexington, Kentucky. Malachi D'Souza, 6'6", a senior forward from Beacon, New York. Jarius Key, 6'5", a junior forward from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And rounding out the five for Campbellsville in the thriving starting lineup presented by Quentin Ford. It's Malik Muhammad, 6'9", the senior center from Los Angeles, California. Tigers today in their home whites. Tigers across the chest in maroon with maroon numerals. Some black trim for Campbellsville. The accents down the jerseys are maroon and black for Shawnee State. Similar to the uniforms that their uh, women's team wore earlier, Shawnee State sandwiches the number. White letters and numbers for the Bears. Some black and gray trim. Campbellsville will go right to left in the first half, left to right for Shawnee State. And these two coaches coaching like they're at a rec league, and I love it. I do, too. So Actually, I, t I really like that outfit Coach Vernon's got. And now you and I talked we were, to we him. We were like, for one. Uh, he said, I'll take care of it next week. That oh, yeah. is, that's sharp. I like that fudge. That's high level. That Mitchell is. and Muhammad going to jump it up here. And ball in the air. And tap is controlled by Campbellsville. Muhammad swats it back. Keaston Brown. We'll run the offense here for the Tigers, defended by Bumgarner. Key has it out front. Inside, this is Muhammad out. Wallace driving and nice. actually going to find a cutting. Jarius Key, he gets the hoop. Jace Wallace, an early yeah, helper. Jarius' his guy, a defender double team, so he read the defense and was able to cut and get the basket there. Good kick out by Muhammad, but also a good pass by Wallace. Mitchell works around the screen, drives in, throws one up the left hand. No good. Ball batted. And rebounding going to be a big point of emphasis yes, today for Campbell's. It's a long, athletic Shawnee State team. Wallace 
Working opposite the screen, now leaves it out with Malik Muhammad. Keaston Brown opposite the screen himself. Corner, key, three. That is short. Boy, I thought that was in. Bumgarner the other way. He sprints, bounces, left yeah. side, and it's stolen. Keaston Brown, the basketball for Campbellsville. Brown ahead, leaves it back. Key in the middle. It won't climb up over the rim, but he does draw the foul. What a defensive play down here by Keaston Brown. He read that, was able to get over, intercept that pass, come down. He saw Key trailing. Uh, Jarius there, a chance to go to the free throw line for two. Who's that foul on? They got Bumgarner on that one, according to Mr. Tony Gray. Free throw here by Key is good. I'm trying to find the stats here. Benji, are they that far down, or I've went past them already? Here. Backtrack a bit. There we go. One more for Jarius Key. Can make it a 4 nothing start. He cannot as it round, uh, rims around and out. Jarius up over 90% on the season from the line. A really good free throw shooter. It's a Campbellsville team that has struggled from the line this season. Bumgarner has Beavers. He's going to drive down the end line. Leaves it out to Mitchell across the lane. Throws it away. Unable to handle the pass was Udili. And the other way. Out top, Muhammad. Left side, Key. On around, little contact there. Key inside, he's bumped and fouled, lost the handle, gets tapped out back to him. Wallace open, three on the way. That is hard, and the rebound taken in by Mitchell for Shawnee State. Three to nothing, Campbellsville leads. Beavers holds on the right wing. Out top, that is Geis. On around Mitchell, holds it, backing in against Muhammad in the middle, up and under, and he gets Muhammad in the air, draws the foul, and this will be a three-point opportunity here for Latavius Mitchell as Malik Muhammad picks up his first. So Mitchell on the season, 55% from the line. Free throw on the way is good for Latavius Mitchell. Tied at three, 18 minutes to play in the half. Keaston Brown with a little full court pressure here working against Bumgarner. And Wallace will help him get it ahead. Keaston Brown in the logo at midcourt. Calls for some help here, backs away. Thought they were gonna come up and set the screen. Now leaves it with Malachi DeSousa. Might be Kai's first touch here today on the dribble. Inside, wanted Muhammad. Mitchell knocked it away. One second, throwing it up is Brown. He didn't get it off. Nice defense there by Shawnee State. Kind of made a mess out of that on that pass attempt by DeSousa. Well, Shawnee's long. They're at very athletic, and, uh, you know, a lot of times, when you penetrate like that, they're able to get their hands in there and uh, obviously block Malachi, which is hard to do, but uh, they're a stingy defense. Mitchell wraps one back out to Geis. That three is no good. Uh, Edel tried to save it or uh, grab the rebound. He falls down. Maybe a chance at numbers for the Tigers. Muhammad going to have to be careful as the trailer almost got back into it. Underneath, Brown to Wallace, out to Key. DeSousa open on the wing. They have him. Three on the way. That is hard. And the rebound taken in by Shawnee State. Baumgartner working. Wants the entry to Mitchell. They have him. Mitchell going to go to work against Muhammad. Backing in. A little bully ball. He goes with a little hook shot. And that is good with the left hand for Mitchell. Five to three. Shawnee's first lead here. Campbellsville the basketball back on the offensive end here. Wallace out near midcourt. Brown off the wing. Left side to Key. Key will drive. Picks it up out to Wallace. Muhammad off the elbow. Back to Key on the wing left side. He'll drive in. Steps through. Shot up. Won't go for Jarius Key. Rebound taken in by Beavers. Beavers ahead. Nearly lost the dribble. Shovels it off to Geis who backs away. Out to Bumgarner, gets the screen from Mitchell. And now Geis again. Beavers on the left side. Entry, it's Muhammad. Mitchell gonna take the little fall away shot. And I think that's one Campbell's will yep, live with. We'll live with that one. You're just now getting that fudge down, aren't I you? I am, yep. Off inside, Muhammad quick rips through and he is fouled 
on the noggin there. This is a fun little matchup with yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, it really is. Good strong move there by Muhammad and uh, went quick and was able to get the foul chance for him to go to the free throw line. Here. Yeah, at these two posts down there, it's going to be a battle today between the two of them. That fudge is good, though. It was good. It's times like that, you wish you had that floating timeout in the men's. So <laughs> you can get an extra break in there. 15.47 to play in the first half. Muhammad at the free throw line here for the Tigers. First free throw for Malik is on the way and good. And this will bring in Azabuki Nwanko. Nwanko, man, of all the teams I've missed getting pronunciations on this year, I have really messed up by not getting some on Shawnee State here. 7-2 junior forward from Dover, Delaware. And uh, my apologies to anyone that is uh, listening to me butcher these names. 7-2. Paul Osborne come in. He said, how oh tall is that guy? Muhammad hits the free throw tied at five. He is uh, probably, I'd probably say the tallest in the NAI. If there's any taller, I hope we don't run into him. Yeah. Muhammad hedges out front. Oh, and we're going to get a whistle here on the league. Just a little bit too much body, says the officials. And that's a big one here, Benji. It's a it long, is. long Shawnee State team. And now you've got uh, a long, long way to go yeah. in this first half with most likely no Malik Muhammad. Geis will pitch it in here to Baumgartner. Baumgartner looking to get it back to Geis. Here comes the screen. Nice job by Clements to Hedge. They couldn't get it down inside to Quanquo. Now Baumgartner, he'll take a three. That is around and out. No good. Chandler Clements, the rebound for good CU. Good rebound by Clements. Clements giving up several inches there, and he's no short guy either. Clements checking in a moment ago. 6'7", junior forward from Clementsville, Tennessee. Inside, Brown finds a wide open Jarius Key for two points. They just got lost a bit, did Shawnee State. And good well, that's, good. By Keaston. that's great patience by Keaston. He could have easily gone ahead and passed it around the perimeter, but he waited. Off the screen, Bumgarner, I thought he was going to shoot the three straight away. Instead, feeds one inside. It's knocked away. Now a shot attempt is no good, and Wallace throws it in off the leg yeah. of Quanquo, but it came back out and hit Jace, unfortunately. And Clements thought they were over the back. And he might be right, but Clements at 6'7", Quanquo at 7'2". It's just tough sometimes to yeah. get that call. 30. And we've got a 30-second timeout taken by Shawnee State here, Benji. But a nice start for the Tigers. A lot of these, uh, uh, a lot of these games, these uh, like you mentioned, the women's games, the filling out process, you're trying to figure out the length and the speed of the opponent and different things. Uh, Campbellsville's done a nice job setting up some baskets uh, underneath inside. Yeah, the, the, I was actually sitting here watching the officials. Jace actually had possession of that and knocked it uh, back off the defender and then it came back and hit him. So that shot clock's gonna reset to 20. But uh, actually, yeah, pretty good start here for both teams. Uh, you know, it, it, it's gonna be any time that you play in the Mid-South Conference, it's gonna be a battle. They're gonna be battling bigs. Uh, you know, banging bodies in Campbellsville. Other, unfortunately, Muhammad's picked up two fouls. He's going to have to sit. But honestly, I don't think we lose much when uh, when Keith, or, uh, Chandler comes in. Chandler's just, uh, he's more effective inside and out. So it actually, it's going to bring the bigs out, and I think it's going to, uh, you know, open up a few outside shots for us. Shawnee State stays with their same five here. The only change today is Quanquo in for Mitchell. Out top is Beavers with the basketball. Poked away. Wallace Reddick gets out there. He'll go down the lane right side, right hand off the window. Good for Jace Wallace. Nine to five to score. Yeah, good defense there. Got out in the passing lane. Was able to get that hand and deflect it. Bumgarner calls for the screen out front. They hedge out. They'll use Quanco briefly. Now Adele off the side. He'll drive in, gets the step, and good he move. gets the running lay in. Yeah, it's a, just, a, it's just a good move right oh, there. Boy. They just tripped the Quanquo. He fell for 12 feet. Half of that was just his body length, though. Tripped over his own teammate back up. Okay. Sousa out top has Brown. He'll take the uncontested three. That is off the mark. Key, the rebound for Campbellsville. Cutting. Brown, he'll go underneath. Needs some help. Finds Clements. And we're going to have a kick here on Shawnee State. So, again, Campbellsville. Able to uh, make some stuff happen down inside. Just couldn't get the finish that time. Bronco got that winkle picker. That's a rather sizable that's, winkle picker. That's a ski. That's a <laughs> ski right there. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
you know, Shawnee State has actually had some big men on their history. You remember Onu from yep. a few years ago uh, when they won the national championship. Uh, so they're used to playing with a big guy. And they are extremely long now. They yes, sent they Abraham are. Ding. No, that's not Ding. That is Evergood. Excuse me. Inside. Out. Ball knocked around. And Key able to pick it up. Has DeSouza on the end line. Runs in to a defender. Back out. Brown spinning. Throws one up. Uh, he knew he had to hurry. And it'll be a turnover on yeah, Keeson just saying nothing I could do right there. Got into a pickle. That's uh, I mentioned Abergood checking in. 6-7. Senior forward from Melbourne, Australia. Out front, Beavers holds the basketball. Still waiting, and Abergut mishandles it, able to stay with it. Throws up a floater in the lane that is good, and we're tied at nine. DeSousa ahead. Navigates off near the far sideline. Into the corner, Key. Jarius Key skips it right side. DeSousa back to Key on the wing. Catches. And now he goes to Jordan Graham. Uncontested three on the way. That is no good for Graham. And Jarius Key just missed having himself a rebound. That, that bounced just a little too far off to the left. Had it bounced to Jarius, it would have been an easy lay-in. Nobody boxed him out. Trey Beard checking in, 5'11", sophomore guard from Chillicothe, Ohio. I mentioned Jordan Graham, 6'3", freshman guard from Winchester, Kentucky. Bob Garner defended here by Wallace out top. Now they have Beard. And again, it's Bum Garner. He'll motion Abergut through. He'll call for the screen, go right side. Key picks him up, jumper on the way, no good. Rebound taken in by Jordan Graham. Tigers back to the offensive end. Good box out there by Graham. Wallace to Graham on around wide open to Sousa. Three, that is hard. And it'll go out of play to Shawnee State with 12-15 to play. The clock's still running. They've missed it. A few extra seconds ticked off there. I don't think any of the officials caught it, though. Trying to get to that media timeout so you and I can yeah, have some more fudge. Some fudge in there. We'll have to take turns on that. we got one of us got to be able to talk. <laughs> Beard, excuse me, that's Bumgarner, the basketball. Jay Milburn in for Campbellsville. 6'8 freshman forward from Campbellsville, Kentucky. Driving here, lost the hand on it. That was uh, Udali. And Campbellsville gets the miss the other way. Left side, Javon Smith. Three on the way for Javon is off the mark. Jordan Graham, the rebound for CU. Clements to Wallace, wide open, same spot. Three on the way. That one is no good. And the rebound taken in by Abergut. We cannot buy a bucket. Nine to nine, Bumgarner out, Abergut run off the spot, steps called, and this will bring us to a media timeout. I mentioned Javon Smith checking in, 6-2, the sophomore guard from Bardstown, Kentucky. We're tied at nine, 11.34 to play in the first half. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm gonna take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. Tied at 9, 11.34 to play in the first half. Matt Payton and the former Tiger, Benji Kelly, here as uh, Campbellsville tries to make it a Mid-South Conference doubleheader sweep over Shawnee State. And pun intended, it's going to be a tall task uh, here today <laughs> for Campbellsville. A very interesting first eight minutes or so. Benji, neither team really has, has gotten much going offensively. No, both teams not shooting the ball that, that well. Campbellsville, 3 of 13 for 23%, 0 of 8 from three-point range. Uh, Shawnee State, 4 of 11, 36%, 0 of 2 from down, downtown. So uh, that's why you got to score tied 9-9 nine, nine, uh, turnovers. Campbellsville's able to force them to, into four turnovers, but they just haven't been able to uh, capitalize uh, only three points off those turnovers, but doing a really good job right now of keeping them off the boards. Right now they haven't given up an offensive rebound. 
Uh, so that uh, was a point of emphasis for Coach Vernon and his team. And that, as a result, so far, they've uh, done a pretty decent job with that. Back to work here. Jordan Graham bounces off to the right side to Wallace. Wallace goes opposite the screen. Boy, he's got Clements. If he can get it to him, he does. Three for Clements on the way, just short. Another great look for the Tigers. Mitchell the other way. He'll bring it down the floor. They've got a match up. Now they get back to Beavers. Out. This is Beard. Three on the way. That's off the mark. Ball batted out and taken in by Jordan Graham. That was a great block out by Chandler Clements. Graham inside, out to Clements. Milburn bluffs the shot. Now Javon Smith. Out top, Wallace. Right wing, Wallace looking inside, wants Milburn, has him over the top, help defender comes, kicks out, Smith, Clements decks it, gets past the seven footer, throws one up and in off the glass. Oh my goodness. The ball has already hit the ground. Coach Vernon is upset, obviously. Wow. Well, don't give Tony a chance at it. If it's if Tony didn't call it, just assume it wasn't a foul. Trust, trust your partner. Yeah. Outside, here is a three from Beard, and that is no good. Rebound Jordan Graham. Ahead to Wallace. So that wiped off what would have been two points for Campbellsville. Wallace is fouled here. And this will go on Abergoot. Wow. And here's the replay. I mean, the ball had already hit the floor. He is outside, but he's moving and up on the tiptoes. Just if Tony doesn't call it, let it go. Easily can be a play on. And we're, uh, I know this, if you're a Shawnee State fan, the Tigers have just, the, the whistles this year have just been as unkind as it gets in some really, really big moments. So we're, we're not, it's not rose colored glasses that we're looking through. They, they're jaded lenses. Turnover here on the Tigers as Wallace a little too far underneath. Wow. Easton Brown going to check in for Campbellsville. Wallace out. I'll tell you what, Benji, I'm just I'm thrilled with the uh, rebounding effort here. Yes. See you early. Well, that's a point of emphasis yeah. that they, that he had. He said we've got to keep them off the boards. I mean, they're so tall. On the move here is Beavers inside to Quanquo. Working against Clements, and it's knocked away. He and Quanquo are really going at it down there. Abergut needs some help, and is he out of bounds? What we got here? Yep. Out of bounds. Chandler Clements and uh, Quanquo were really banging down there. They were talking a little bit, and I've not seen Chandler talk much in his time as a Tiger, but able to knock it away there. It's got to feel good for Chan. Left side, Brown. Out top, Clements again, bluffs the shot, gets right past the defender, sets it up inside, and Quanquo able to get back in it and erase the shot by Milburn. So give him credit. Clements got past him, but he didn't give up on the play. Mitchell helped him out, and then he helped Mitchell. Nearly a turnover. It goes out of bounds. Shawnee stayed all out of sorts, and here's the problem, Benji. You're not Campbellsville, you're yeah. not capitalizing. Yeah, and, and it, you know, once again, having a big down low like that, he was able to escape and, and – you know, and block that, but Campbellsville's defense, we're doing a great job. We just got to capitalize on the offensive end. But we're having some great looks. They're just not falling. Clements out top, hands it to Smith. Graham on around Milburn. Graham again in the corner, Abergut closes out. Corner opposite side, ooh, little jab step, but they say Javon Smith stepped out of bounds. Right. And so these two teams really searching for offense here. Credit Campbellsville, they've made it ugly against this long athletic Shawnee State club, but uh, both teams have gone four and a half minutes here. I don't think we scored since the media, have we? It was 14-33 is about, or 13-32 is when the last time we scored, both yeah. someone scored. Abergut hands it off to Beavers, Keystone Brown defense. Across the lane, inside, Jay Milburn ties it. Oh, oh my, my goodness, gosh. Clements grabs it. That almost went in as uh, Milburn reached in, tied it up. The ball got shot out of there. And almost went through, shoveling it back. Trailer Clements again, and Quanquo closes out. Mid-range jumper for Clements is no good, but he's fouled here. And is that Abergut? It's two. It is. 
Well, here's the problem right now if you're Shawnee State and Campbellsville, if they could just clear out, they might just let Chandler go to work because he's not going to match foot speed. And no. Chandler's more than capable of hitting that three if uh, if they sag off uh, with Nkwankwo. Yeah, and that's kind of what I said. When, when Muhammad went to the bench, actually that opens it up for Campbellsville on the offensive end because Chandler can play both inside and out. And uh, you're right, he's not going to be able to match the foot speed. Uh, of, of Chandler Clemens now. I'm surprised that they haven't come back and, and put uh, the guy that, that started down down low. What was that? Well, uh, Mitchell's Mitchell. in. They've oh, yeah, so they've got together. four yeah. or five. Okay. Uh, so Clements missed the first free throw. The second free throw is good. Give Campbellsville the lead, 10 to 9. Beavers the basketball for Shawnee State. Geis back in. Bumgarner back in there. They'll go to Mitchell, who's rolling. He'll cut back to the middle. Contested jumper over the top of Milburn and Mitchell really has been the offense to this point for yes, Shawnee State. Has. 11 to 10 with full court pressure here. Javon Smith gets the step, gets around his defender, still on the dribble, and he stepped out of bounds again. Javon has just got to do a better job knowing where he's at on the floor. He did a great job to bring it ahead, Benji, and keep it out of the hands of Shawnee State, who were trying to set up that double team, but just uh, got maybe to that point where he thought he was okay and Stepped out of bounds. Steps on the sideline. 11 to 10. Shawnee State the lead. Beavers driving in. Kicks it out. Geis can shoot it. Three on the way. No good. Rebound to O'Dally underneath. And he'll get the putback and the foul. We talked about the rebounding. That is sometimes Shawnee State's best offense. It, it really is. A miss and with those big, long, athletic bodies, just go get it. Yeah, that's... Uh I was talking to Coach Vernon late yesterday, and he said sometimes their best offense is that they can just get it up there on the rim. They know that they've got a shot at getting that offensive board. And uh, that's the first offensive board here this evening and a chance for a three-point play. So this will send, to, again, I apologize. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Udali. And the free throw good for Felix Udali. 14 to 10. Jordan Graham and Keaston Brown will work it ahead. A little pressure applied by Shawnee State. I believe this is the largest lead either way here. It is. Key back in there for Campbellsville. Brown thought about a straightaway three. Now Milburn will take it off the right wing. In and out. Milburn with a good look. Ahead, Geis is going to skip it into the right corner. Pass back out to Beavers. He'll drive left side of the lane. Throw one up. No good. That could have been a goal, Tim. Is that still over the cylinder? Real Mitchell. Close. And now you dolly the rebound, and Mitchell going to finally get the basket. Boy, that was really close on what could have been uh, still over the rim, but Latavius Mitchell is a real problem. That is a grown man. Yes, it is. And uh, he has got nine of the 16 for Shawnee State here in the early going. A 30-second timeout taken by Coach Brent Vernon. And this is, uh, we talked about this at the top, just getting creating offense, finding offense for the Tigers is, uh, you know, a big part of the battle. And and here, you've done a really good job. you got Shawnee State held to 16 points, but Campbellsville's just been unable to manufacture points. And they have three of 16, uh, 0 of 10 from three, you know, 18%. That's just, that's not going to get it done. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing a really decent job on the defensive end. Uh, we're just not able to capitalize on those turnovers and off those defensive rebounds on the offensive end. Uh, now, these last three possessions, Shawnee State has actually had four offensive boards, and that's one of the reasons why they've been able to extend this thing to, uh, six points. For Campbellsville, you've got the uh, large majority of that starting lineup out there. Milburn in for Muhammad, who's got two fouls, which is another issue for Campbellsville here without Malik Muhammad. Inside, Brown finds Milburn, who goes up and gets the bucket. Nice find there by yeah, KB. Yeah, great find, and uh, I thought Jake actually got fouled there, uh, but he was strong enough to fight through it and get that easy layup. Guys, down the end line. This is Mitchell going to go to work against Milburn. A little hook shot, no good. Right back over the head of Milburn to Mitchell, and D'Souza gets the second chance. Mitchell just got hit in the chin coming back down. And... Uh, he and Milburn just collided. It looked like maybe Milburn's shoulder got Latavius Mitchell in the jaw. It appeared to be unintended. Uh, it's, I think it was incidental contact just through, through the. I think Jay kind of turned to run back down the court after Malachi got that rebound and uh, unfortunately caught 
Latavius Mitchell in the chin, and he's checking his faculties here. We got the replay there, Benji, for those following along on our video cover. Yeah, yeah you can see Jay kind of turned and he just maybe braced place. himself a little bit, seeing wrong that there place, was going to be contact time. there. Mitchell went to the ground. So it'll be Tiger basketball. Wonko going to check back in here for Shawnee State. 16 to 12 the score, 639 to play in the half. Keaston Brown with it for CU. Key back to Brown, left side Wallace. A little zone look here defensively for Shawnee State. Brown drives in, spins, needs some help. Milburn with it. He'll go to Key right side. Ball fake, six to shoot. Into the corner. Brown, three on the way. That is short. Campbellsville continues to get the good looks. The uh, unfortunately results have not been there. Bumgarner working against Brown. Nice defense by KB to cut him off. Back out top, Beavers. Beavers spins, walk, and there's the whistle on the far side. Good defense. Yeah, good defense there by Keaston down top, and then also good defense by uh, by Jarius up up top. So uh, once again, we've able to commit that turnover or commit them, and now we just got to take advantage here on this other end. So, surely to goodness, one of these shots are going to fall here for too long. Left side key, back out to Brown. Now they use DeSousa. Melvin comes up top. He has it. Back to more of a man look here defensively for Shawnee State. Jarius Key working against Quanquo. He'll go left side, help defender flashes, needing help. He got his goggles knocked off. Here is Wallace. They'll step back three. That may have been the worst look of the night yep. for the Tigers, and even it wasn't terrible with the shot clock winding down. Bumgarner a three. That's no good. Milburn has it knocked away, and Jarius Key claims it. Good job by Milburn there to get in there and get his hand on it, was able to tip it to Key. Jay's Six. playing some solid minutes here for the Tigers. 16 to 12. Milburn hands it off to Keaston Brown. Brown on the dribble left side, feeds it. Well, and that's Sorry. just bad luck. As soon as yeah. Milburn was kind of backing his way in yeah. to give got, Keaston a lane. That's and, right. They're and, kind uh, of going two separate ways. Yeah. Uh, Milburn was sagging down to post up, get a big target, and uh, KB had let it go before he was there, uh, before he had stopped, and uh, leads to a turnover. 16 to 12, the score, a tight one here in the Powell Center. 5-0-1 to play. First half, you're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Sixteen to twelve, Campbellsville trail Shawnee State five oh one to play in the first half. Matt Payton and Benji Kelly here with you as. Uh, these two teams struggling to find points. Combined just 11 made field goals in the first half here. Benji, neither team has hit a three. 0 of 18 combined. Uh, somebody find Oscar Vaughn and tell him to take the lids take off the here lids at the Pally. Of uh, maybe Sarah Sutton needs to come down and put take on the a, lid off. She did in the women's game. She, her and Courtney Pritchett hit a few. But uh, the Tigers have had good looks. Just one of those things where they've struggled offensively and it, it becomes a bit of a mental game. It does. You just got to see some shots go through and see some positive things happen. Bumgarner wanted the back door, wasn't there. Geis, now they have Udali on around. Well, all fake and a walk. So that's uh, twice, I think, the last few trips that Shawnee State has been called for steps. Remains a four-point Shawnee State lead, and both of these teams are missing opportunities. I mean, they have held one another down. If somebody could get some shots to fall, run off and hide at this rate. Jesusa on the right wing, deep out, hesitates. Wallace 
Goes opposite there and tries to thread the needle. That's a kick ball. They missed it. And Jace able to read that pass out to Brown. Open three on the way. Bang! Finally, Edward Jones shells out some coin. My goodness, it took forever. But we finally hit one good defense there by Jace to able to steal it. There was a kick ball there, but uh, the ball sometimes never lies. And oh, actually, it always never lies. And they got hit that first three. Guy off the left side out top. I'm going here comes the screen. Clemens does a nice job to hedge. They can't get it to the big man inside. On around, Geis into the corner. Galley wants to drive, actually going to kick it out. Beavers may have gotten away with steps. He'll throw up a little scoop shot. And Quanquo there, and I don't even know that he jumped to get that put back stuff. Three point game. Out front, Sousa, Right side, Key. They sag way off. Three on the way. That is hard. Rebound. Clements knocks it back in off of him. Quanquo, and it comes off the key. He'll skip it. Left side, shoot Brown. It, shoot it. Open. Three on the way. Is no good wow. around and out. Good luck. Bumgarner inside working against Brown. Backtracks. Needs some help. Beavers walk again. Here's a three, and that is good. And twice, I think, that Gamblesville has wanted steps on Beavers, and it leads to five points off the second chance and that three-point field goal. Easton Brown defended here by Baumgartner on the dribble. He's lost his dribble, has to leave it with Clements and on around to DeSouza, 10 to shoot, 2.40 to play in the half. And this ball knocked away. DeSouza wanted key, and I don't know if he expected the long and Juanco to be out that close. Beavers kicks into the corner, Geis for three, and that is good, and a timeout taken by Campbellsville. Brent Vernon fr frustrated that uh, some of those calls were missed a moment ago, and then Geis hits that three-point field goal. First three of the day uh, for Shawnee State was the Beavers three. They come right back down and hit one with Geis here as Campbellsville takes the 30-second timeout. I said one of these teams leaving a lot of chances on the court. It, you could kind of run off and hide well, a can. bit. And now a nine-point lead yeah. in this game is a big, big lead. It might so. supposed to be 30. Yeah. Well, yeah. But uh, Campbellsville just 23% from the floor. Shawnee State 34 0.6%. Here's Campbellsville's first three of the game with Keiston Brown. As uh, Wallace, that ball got kind of kicked around in there and came out. Quanqua tried to find a teammate, and uh, Wallace read that pass, took it away, and thought maybe that might get Campbellsville sparked. They hit that three, and since then, Shawnee State, I think. Yeah, uh, the 8 0 run. 8 0 run. Yeah, it was, it was 16 15, and then you've uh, two threes, and then a, a put back slam by the big guy. Mitchell's back in, so good to see it. What was it something with Geis in the hip pocket of, and Geis just kind of pushed Jace on the aftermath of that, kind of shoved Jace away. So that's six on Shawnee State as a team. Actually, I got. Is that five on Shawnee State as a team? Here inside, ball is kicked. I'm going to say kicked by Jay Milburn before it got to Mitchell. 2-10 to play in the half. Five fouls for Shawnee State as a team. And here we've got a whistle on Wallace away from the ball. So that's the first on... Jace and five on the Tigers. Changes here. Jordan Graham back in for CU's. Jace Wallace will check out. Beard out front to Beavers. Back to, that's Bumgarner, excuse me, runs over Brown. It's an offensive foul on Trey Bumgarner. Well, it's good defense there by Keeson. He actually was able to go down on the angle and get to the spot ahead and kind of lowered the shoulder, and that's an automatic call. So good uh, good job by Keeson there. Campbellsville, you know, we need to keep this thing in single digits here. So this is a big possession for Campbellsville. If we get this thing, and the three would be ideal, but. Graham off the right wing, backs away, out to Clements. Oh, Jay was wide open. Now Brown, out top, Milburn. Dribbles, hands it to DeSouza. 
Sousa works his way inside. Clements three on the way. That is no good. And Mitchell the rebound for Shawnee State. Latavius Mitchell down the court. Working in against Milburn. Throws up a contested shot. No good. Paco's tap won't go as he knocked it over the rim. Campbellsville with it. Milburn the rebound. Out front. Milburn left side. Clements on the dribble here. Working off the screen. Out top to DeSouza, gets the step, now into the corner. Brown, three on the way. Bang, Keaston Brown, another Edward Jones payout. Big three right there. Now let's get another stop here with a minute to go, Matt. 24-18. Tigers trail by six. Mitchell on the dribble. Here's a baseline jumper for Nkwankwo that's no good. Jordan Graham, the rebound for CU. I just look, Mitchell's playing in like low tops or something. That's an interesting... For a guy that big and athletic, I yeah. want all the protection I could get. 30 seconds to play in the half. Brown out front, 13 on the shot clock. Brown, seven seconds. Going to have to go here. Quanquo helps out, trying to get around and finally does. And we're going to have a whistle here as they say. Quanquo got the leg out. Well, that's a big one, Benji. That That'll is a big one. That'll actually send KB to the free yeah, throw absolutely. line. Absolutely, and that pick, that's uh, – and Wonko, it's his first. Man, he's been in there. He's played several minutes, and that's his first foul. Wow. 16.6 seconds to play in the half. Wonko checks out. Aber getting back in. Javon Smith going to check in for defensive purposes. They'll get Chandler Clements to come to the sideline here. Keaston Brown on the season, 74%. This is a one and the bonus. Let's hope. KB can. Get that second look. Free throw on the way is good for KB. And if you're the Tigers, the way you've struggled to shoot it, that is, uh, especially with one of your better free throw shooters, Brown, that is a favor done by Shawnee State in that situation, potentially. Second free throw on the way is no good. That thing hung on the front of the rim. Mitchell grabs it. All right, let's get a stop here, guys. 13 seconds, now down to nine. Beavers, they switch. Beavers gonna work against Graham. They go to Abergut, left side, three is short. Rebound taken in by Jordan Graham, and that is where so the good. first half yeah, will come good. to a close. 24 to 19, the score at the mid-game break. Not much settled in what was uh, kind of just a little old slugfest, an ugly, ugly slugfest, slugfest at that. there in the first half. Everybody's <laughs> black and blue, Ooh. but I have no idea who won. Yeah. <laughs> it's Shawnee State technically based on the first half score. But uh, anyhow, we'll step away here, take a short break, come back, and look at the numbers that made up the first half. Campbellsville trails the Bears 24 to 19. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. I tell my son, I love you every single day. Now my dad has never said that to me. Not because he doesn't love me, but because culturally it wasn't comfortable for him. Now that he's a grandfather, he says I love you to my son every time he sees him. My advice to all the fathers out there, forget the cultural restrictions. They grow up way too fast for you to waste even a single precious moment. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. The black truck? Hey. Christina from accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she dumped me for my best friend. You wanna see some photos of them that I took? I don't. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call a car. That's a smart idea. So, yeah, I know, that's why I did it. Hey, you're gonna get back to the top of the mountain. Does that mean I'm gonna get back with Christina? No. Oh, no, no. If you love them enough to drive an hour to cheer them on as they get beat 11 to nothing in the rain, 
then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Our score here at halftime, Matt Payton and Benji Kelly uh, courtside at the Powell Athletic Center, Donna Wise Court, Campbellsville, and Shawnee State. Haven't quite set the game of basketball back, but they did not do it any favors. And uh, it was a physical first half, and uh, neither team really getting much rhythm at all, Benji, as we'll look at some of the replays for those of you who are following our uh, video coverage today through local cable or uh, online through uh, CampbellsvilleTigers.com, also the CU Sports Network YouTube page. I will say that YouTube feed may be a little cleaner for you if you check that out. We are uh, working to improve that as well. But uh, the the Tigers and, and Shawnee State here, Benji, like I mentioned, really nothing accomplished. It was um, a, a physical affair. Um, neither team really getting into much of a rhythm. And oftentimes I feel like teams don't get into a rhythm because of fouls and fouls That's called. That, that, that really not. doesn't feel like the case here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, you know, kind of, which this is kind of how Campbellsville's had to play. They are missing some of their firepower and, and different things. And um, an ugly game is, is probably what they have to win a lot of days yeah. uh, based on that and win it with their defense. But, you know, outside of Latavius Mitchell for Shawnee State, there's four guys in the entire first half have more than one field goal. Right. Just four, two on each team. Uh, it, it's That's uh, an interesting. 20 minutes it, it you know it seems like we were stuck on nine and the score was nine to nine we were stuck on that for like five or six minutes and from that point on there there toward the end you saw a, a little bit of offense especially Shawnee they hit a couple of threes put back dunk and then Campbellsville down nine but then they score the last uh what's five points to be able to cut this thing to five uh doing it with their defense so it's it's a weird feel to it but you know, it's one of those things. Go and there we go. Don't go Tigers. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's just got a weird feel to it, but I, I'm not panicking right. because I like how Campbellsville's playing against this team. The uh, the first half, Campbellsville shoots at just 26.1% from the floor. They were 6 of 23, 12 of 5 from deep, 2 of 16. A lot of great looks from long range. Keiston Brown hits the only two Edward Jones threes of the half for CU. 62.5% at the free throw line, 5 of 8. For Shawnee State, there were 33% from the floor, 10 of 30, 2 of 9 from deep, that's 22%, and uh, a perfect 2 of 2 at the free throw line for Shawnee State there in the first half. Campbellsville led in scoring by Keiston Brown. I mentioned he hit a couple of three-point field goals, two boards, two assists, and two steals there for his seven points. Five from Jarius Key to go with four rebounds. Campbellsville gets two each from Jace Wallace. Malik, uh, excuse me, Jace Wallace, Malik Muhammad, and Jay Milburn in the first half. Wallace finishing with two assists and three steals. Muhammad had to sit for a big portion of that half. He played just the first four minutes or so before picking up that second foul. And uh, Chandler Clements totaled one point for Campbellsville there in the first half. Of course, that on a free throw. Jordan Graham did not uh, score for Campbellsville. Neither did Malachi D'Souza or Javon Smith. Graham did chip in six rebounds, and those are key. Benji trying to fa find a way yeah. to contribute even when it's not necessarily in the point column, and rebounding certainly going to be something to watch throughout the last 20 minutes. You know, I really like Jordan Graham. I like the way he plays. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a level-headed kid. He came in here. Obviously, he's only took, I think, one or two shots. Uh, yeah, one shot. Uh, it was a wide open three, but he's contributing in other ways, getting defensive rebounds, which has been a, a point of emphasis uh, for, for Campbellsville against this big, tall team. So, once again, I'm not panicking how, you know, sometimes like the other night down at Pikeville, you know, we were down 30 at halftime. You just knew that that game wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to finish well. But here, here tonight, this Campbellsville team, they're playing hard, they're gritty. Uh, they just got to find a way to get some points. Latavius Mitchell, the game high, nine points thus far, nine rebounds for Mitchell, four of ten shooting. So Campbellsville did a pretty good job. He's a guy that shoots about 53% on the season, four of ten. So they forced him to uh, to take many looks, uh, but the three offensive rebounds for Mitchell certainly loom large. Five points for Felix Udali there in the first half, four rebounds, three each for Brandon Beavers and Jaden Geis, two apiece for Isaac Abergut and Azabuki Nkwankwo in the first half of play for Shawnee 
State rebounding 19 to 17 in favor of the Bears. The advantage on the offensive end, six to four. Campbellsville finishes with five assists, five steals, 10 turnovers, two assists, two steals, 11 turnovers for Shawnee State. So neither one of these teams have been able to protect the basketball. That certainly goes, uh, uh, factors into the low scoring first half. In the paint, Shawnee with the advantage 14 to eight. Points off turnovers, eight to seven in favor of the Bears. Second chance points, 7-0 in favor of SSU and bench points four to three again in favor of the visitors here today. The uh, score was tied three times. The lead changed hands three times. Largest lead, Shawnee by nine points. I believe that was 24 to nine, uh, 24 to 15. 15 yep. The Tigers do score the final four there of the half and uh, get it back to a uh, five point margin. Campbellsville's largest lead was four points, and that's where we stand here at halftime, 24 to 19, your score. We'll step away, take an extended timeout, come back and get you ready for second half action. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men, take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Thank you. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You can say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You can ask with the app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At AceYourRetirement.org, you can. Start with a free three-minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? To get free action items customized just for you. Get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. It's a dad. Every day is a challenge. To make sure that the time that I have, I spend with them. It doesn't matter how tired you are. You have to try to teach them. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's... It's such an incredible moment. 
It's those moments that are, that are my favorite. If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Jason, let's go see your room. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. our score here at halftime at Peyton Benji Kelly with you before we get men's second half action underway let's uh, comb through some of the uh, the women's scores Benji the, the Lady Tigers were the only early game in the uh, Eastern time zone 79 60 coach Ginger High Colpits Club picked up the win today I'm looking here Thomas Moore with a big win at Bethel 90 to 52 Cumberland's knocked off Cumberland U 68 to 52 Georgetown gets UT Southern, 67-58, and then Pikeville coming up. Uh, was there another one on Wil there? Wilberforce Freed. Uh, Freed gets the big win over Wilberforce. I'll tell you, right now, just looking at that women's stuff, the um, that three through six to seven yeah. is going to be so fun to yes. watch throughout the year. You yes. take Cumberland's Freed, Cumberland, Georgetown, and then even you know Pikeville right there as well. Bethel and Shawnee State are two really good teams capable of beating yep. teams. UT Southern uh, that way. I know Lindsay's had some, uh, they're amidst a tough stretch and losing Sydney Hall certainly won't help, but uh, there's some really good teams on both sides, men's and women's, and uh, it'll be fun to watch throughout the year as we get ready to set to uh, start the second half. Campbellsville will have their thriving starting lineup out there. Brown, Wallace, D'Souza Key, and Muhammad. Udale, Bumgarner, Geis, Beavers, and Mitchell. For Shawnee State here, is, it'll be Shawnee State basketball. Beavers pitches it in to Bumgarner, and we are underway. Mitchell out front, catches with the left hand, and sends it on over to Beavers. They'll Hedge out, and Asusa knocks it away and steals it. Campbellsville an early takeaway to begin the second half. Good defense there by D'Souza. Got it, those long arms and was able to steal it. Right wing, Brown wants the entry. He'll go around through, leave it out for D'Souza. He decks it. Cutting was key, but Udale got a hand on it. The other way into the corner. Ball knocked away by Wallace. I tell you what, neither one of these teams has just been able to Played crisp basketball, and as Coach Vernon takes the words out of my mouth, and be able to take care of it. Yeah, it's uh, it's a sloppy game. Good heads there by Muhammad. Bumgarner has to give it up here. Finds Udale inside. Mitchell has to leave it back out. Beavers open. Three on the way. That is no good. Rebound to Jerry is key. He wants to run. Bounces now off to Wallace, who brings it ahead. 
Wallace inside has key, back to the basket, working against Bumgarner. Double team comes, he'll throw up a right-handed shot, no good. Muhammad to put back, it won't go, but he does draw the foul, working against Udale. I have to credit Coach uh, Jack Trainer, the assistant for one of the assistants for Shawnee State. Help me out with some pronunciations a bit. Well, there I saw you Hathaway. talking to him. And I'm I... still not sure I've got him completely right. We were in a hurry, but uh, he did. <laughs> he did take a few moments. Super nice. Said absolutely. And this first free throw for Muhammad is good. It tried to get out of there. It, it did. One more coming for Leak. 24-20, can make it a one possession game with this free throw toss here. Free throw on the way is in and out. That one did come out of there. Bumgarner left side, four point Shawnee State advantage. Beavers gets around using that screen, got lost for a moment, has to kick it out to Bumgarner, now back to Beavers. He'll drive in, throws up a floater with the right hand that is good. And Brandon Beavers gets more points, averaging 11 a game on the season. He has got some highlighter tennis those, shoes. Those are interesting. I, I bet you have none of those in I your closet. I do not. I do not. Right side, Brown. They want Muhammad over the top. There's the lob. Help defender comes across, and it goes off of Shawnee State. I, don't, I guess Beavers may have gotten a hand on that. That. It's the right. It's right, but it takes that pass so long to it get does. there over the six-eight the Mitchell defense. that Beavers yeah. easily can get in there and make a mess out of it. Wallace off the entry gets the screen inside. He'll go with a floater. It won't go, but Jace Wallace will go to the free throw line. This foul will go against Jaden Geis. So Jace Wallace back to the free throw line again. That's. Two now and guys two on Shawnee State as a team. Free throw for Wallace is good. Coach oh, Vernon. goodness. Uh, guys, you don't have to use the rim yeah, if you don't want to. A, optional. It is optional. This free throw on the way is good. So go. those are good for Jace to see go through back yes. to a four-point game. Left side, Bumgarner. Inside, he has Mitchell. Mitchell is fouled by Key. I think they hit knees. He picks up his first, but a good foul by uh, Jarius right there, Benji. Because otherwise, Mitchell had bad intentions. Yes, he did. It's going to be a and, stuff. And it would have been thunderous. Uh, thunderous. Mitchell goes to the line where he's 55% on the season. So even if you can get him to miss one, you probably come out ahead on this deal, and this free throw is off. So. You spoke it into existence. Oh, if he misses both, it's uh, the Tigers day. How about that? No, you shouldn't say that one. That one might be dangerous. <laughs> he hit two earlier, though, so technically he would be due to miss this one as well. He did. 26-22, four-point lead, and Mitchell goes down. He's holding his ankle. Key, a wide-open lane, and wow. the right-handed stop. With authority. With the, That was what uh, Mitchell had intended a moment ago. Yes. He stopped it. Well, I hope Mitchell's all right because he's fun to watch, even though he's not on my team. Looked like he, well, I think rolled he that rolled ankle, it. stepped on somebody, maybe rolled it out top. Mitchell with it on around. Geis bluffs the shot, wants to drive. Baseline floater is no good. And Malik Muhammad the rebound. Mitchell almost knocked it away. Boy, he did, didn't strong he? Strong rebound Man, by Malik. He's a player. Oh, crossover here. DeSousa shovels it. They've got Muhammad open. Couldn't get it to him, though. Nice defensive work by Shawnee State. Wallace calls for the screen. Again, goes opposite. Muhammad rolls, and the pass gets through to him. He's fouled, no call, it looked like. Campbell's were wanted the foul, I should say. I couldn't really see it on a straight line, and this ball deflected. Wallace couldn't save it in play. Here's the replay. Jerry's key found a wide open lane, and he knew what to do with it. 26-24, Campbellsville trails by two here in the Powell Center. 17, just over 17 minutes to play. They want Mitchell down inside, working back to the basket against Muhammad. Help defender Sousa forces him to give it up on around Beavers. 13 on the shot clock, back towards the middle. Bumgarner calls for the screen. Eight seconds to shoot. Very patient here. That left side, Geis, contested three over Wallace is no good. Nice job by the Tigers. 
I thought Bumgarner may have been a little too patient there with six or seven on the shot clock off that screen. The Sousa out, Brown, ball fake. Inside, now shovels it back to Key, 20 seconds. Key at the free throw line, working, spinning, floater with the right hand, off glass, won't go. Ball batted and taken by Mitchell. Mitchell underhands it to Bumgarner. Inside, cutting is Udale, and his shot no good, too strong off the iron, or off the uh, backboard. And Muhammad may be a bit winded here. I hope that's all it is, is winded. He didn't play much in the first half, maybe hurt. Green, D'Souza has to leave it out with Brown. Three on the way, that is short. And it's Beavers, the rebound for Shawnee State. Has Geis, right side three, in and out. Rebound key, and he's fouled by Mitchell. Oh, we got a technical here. Who'd they get? I don't know. Oh, man, they get... Jarius must have said something after the fact. Yeah, can you, you know, an explanation there, I guess. So they're going to get Mitchell, and then unfortunately they're going to get Jarius Key. I didn't see anything, but I'm assuming he said what's Threw the ball at his back. They're trying to get me a replay here on that. So I'm fortunate here. Mitchell picks up his second. Jarius Key gets his second on the technical. That first free throw is. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that was a frustration, That's, Jarius. He did. He Jarius did. Jarius got a, just no better. I know he's frustrated. Brent. 28-24 after the free throws. And this will bring us to a timeout here, a 30-second timeout taken by Shawnee State with 15.53 to play in the basketball game. And Tony, whose ball is it? Okay, so Campbellsville basketball after the uh, the technical foul. Yeah, that, so, was, that was the right call. Yeah, uh, well, you, can, you can argue with them, but sometimes they're obvious, yeah. and that's one that Jerry S. would love to have back, no doubt. Just a, a bit of frustration after the contact. and. It gives uh, Shawnee State a couple extra points there, and hopefully that's. Uh, you know, Jarius is. It wasn't malicious, but it, it you know it wasn't yeah. like he was trying to hurt him. Right. But it was one of those you just can't in that spot do that. And Jarius knew it. He walked over and yeah. instantly regretted it. And you just hope that those points don't matter in this game. Campbellsville back to work here on the offensive end. Ball knocked away. DeSousa has to stay with it. DeSousa backs away, working off the Milburn screen. Needs some help. Corner. Clements driving. He's cut off. He needs help. Out to DeSousa. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Clements sets the screen. DeSousa lost the handle. Milburn going to throw it up on the way. Bang! Jay Milburn with a Hail Mary that counts! Edward Jones, all the good looks in the first half, and Milburn throws that junk up, and it goes through. Jay, wow. I like it. That might, yeah, <laughs> Coach <Okay>. Burns, <laughs> just like I drew it up. They have had good look after good look today, and wow. they just wouldn't go down. Milburn, uh, the definition of a heave and a hope. And uh, it went through. It counts just the same, 28-27. Inside, they find Mitchell, double team there. Mitchell has to have some help. It's Geis. Three on the way, and that uh, is good for Jaden Geis. Back to a four-point margin. Keiston Brown, the crossover, gets some help there off that screen. Leaves it out with Clements, and now Chandler Clements to D'Souza. D'Souza out here, three, Clements. That is off the mark to the left. Rebound to Geis. Here comes Shawnee State. Has Udale some contact, no call. Mitchell is fouled. And Latavius Mitchell will go back to the free throw line here. This foul will go against Campbellsville's Chandler Clements. Yeah, that's not actually not a bad foul there. You know, actually, now that I'm looking at that, that was a much cleaner look for it was. Jay than I thought. I yeah. thought it was more off balance and rushed. Uh, certainly the rush part was there, but he was he was set pretty well. So I'll give him a little, uh, little more credit than a hope and a heave. 
foul on Chandler is uh, his second three on the Tigers as a team. DeSousa checks out. Jordan Graham back in. Malachi comes over and he's going to draw up a play. He wants something here as uh, Mitchell gets the second free throw. 32-27 the score. Campbell's will gets the play call from Coach Brent Vernon. Keaston Brown orchestrates the offense. Right side, Wallace drives in, back out. Clements won't shoot it here. Milburn, and now Brown off the left side. Working right side of the lane. Little side falling jumper, good. I didn't know if at the last second Keaston may pass, pass that. It, but and he, he kind of he's got, me a bit. He's so good with that little fadeaway jumper. Saw his dad do that many, many a night uh, at Berea College, but. Uh, Geis off the turbo, or excuse me, that's Bumgarner. Mitchell now has Geis. Geis on the dribble working against Graham. That's okay. right there. So this will be a turnover. The Tigers again. I don't think Benji have tied or taken the lead in they this have half, not, right? They, they have not. By a point or so we a got it close times. and then uh, actually had a chance to, to tie it, but then that technical, they put it back up to four. So, so uh, Abergut back in. And Bumgarner checks out for Shawnee State. Keaston Brown, the basketball. Wallace back to Clements. Now Milburn holds, waits, has Brown the handoff. Keaston Brown, another jumper. That one is short. Milburn had it knocked away for a moment. Jay thought maybe he, Jay's kind of lobbying that he didn't touch it right there. So, Geis checks out now, and Trey Beard back into the lineup for Shawnee State. It's a three-point basketball game. Bears lead it. Beard has it at midcourt, 13-20 to play. Out top, Abergut on around left side. Beavers working far out and gets around the oh, what a block. defender and a block by Jay Milburn and a foul in the backcourt on Mitchell. Benji, that's a big one. That's, that's a big on Mitchell. Yeah, what a block by Jay Milburn there. Coming, Coming up to, to the behind. And get in there. Blanco back in for Shawnee State. And Jay Milburn continues to show flashes. Yes, he does. The maturation and growth. It'll be fun to watch over the next few years. Wallace out top, Clements. Clements right side to Brown, back to Clements, working against Quanquo. Inside goes up, shot no good. Jordan Graham the rebound, turn around, face up. Jay hmm. is hard, batted out, kept alive. Clements throws it in, and it's taken in by Udale. Ahead, he has Beavers cross court into the corner. This is Beard for three. Oh. That is good for Trey Beard, and he can really shoot it. That's at least tough. he has this season. That is a tough break right there. Campbellsville. 35-29. Brown out to Clements. He'll drive left side, and he is fouled here, it appears. Let's see if this is on Quanquo. It is. It's two on Azubuke Quanquo. Milburn holds it on the end line. Back out front, Brown. Now Wallace, Tigers trail by six here. That three by Trey Beard, a big shot. Wallace into the corner, this is Graham. Three, around and out, ball taken by Abergut. Another really good look for CU. Opposite corner, it's Beard again. He won't shoot it this time as Keaston Brown closes out. Big possession here, Benji. You don't want to see Shawnee get this uh, no, you don't. too far here. Like you said, it's a, a nine-point lead in this game is like 30. Beard forced to retreat inside as a bookie. Hit him in a bad spot. His hands. Right in the hands. <laughs> and that will go out of play. Media timeout here. It'll be Tiger basketball when we get back. They trail by 6, 35-29. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat.
25-29, Tigers trail by six, Tiger basketball. And this, uh, Benji, this game really hasn't changed a ton from no, the first it half. It's still kind of a, uh, it's a punch counter punch. It's almost like uh, this slap fighting that's become popular. Like you stand there and let me hit yeah. you and I'll stand here and you exactly. hit me. And it's, uh, I don't know. It's, and it's just not a weird from ball the, game. It's not from the lack of, of opportunities on the offensive end for both teams. Te the teams just aren't shooting the ball that well. Campbellsville, 9 of 34. Uh, Shawnee State, 13 of 39. There's there's 26 turnovers in the game, but you look at those 26 turnovers, there's only 15 points off of those turnovers. Campbellsville's done a very good job keeping them off the offensive boards, only giving up six. Uh, we're actually uh, out-rebounding them right now, which is a really good sign considering as big uh, as Shawnee State is. So back to play we go. Still a long way to go in this one. Six points, the Tigers trail. And if one of these two teams can get going from deep, that could change the game. And here we've got a whistle underneath. And this foul's gonna go against number 33, Benji. Fortunately, it's for the one wearing blue. That is Longwo. Six on Shawnee State as a team here. That's big, because Campbellsville will go to the free throw line here the rest of the way. That may not be a great thing, well, though, the way they shot it shooting, times yeah, this we're, year. Although we're shooting it a little better right now. Muhammad today. hands it to Brown. Muhammad sets the screen. Brown out. Graham, I thought, might line that up, but Beavers did a nice job to get there. Clements going to drive against Udale. He needs some help. Five to shoot. Muhammad face-up jumper is no good. And the rebound taken by Shawnee State. Trey Beard to the front court. Greeted here by Brown. Navigating off to the right is Beavers. Back out to Beard. Wonkwo out front has Beavers. The screen there driving. Lobs one up to the rim. That's beautiful offense there. Wonkwo did a great, great job rolling. Beavers put it right on the money. Yeah, that's all you really got to do with a big guy is get it up there close to the rim. Graham driving in some contact. He's fouled. Muhammad had the uh, putback. Malik can be careful there. I don't know if he was trying to figure out where Jordan was before he dropped. Last thing the Tigers needs another technical in this situation. They got Wonkwo again, Benji, so yeah, that's, that's four, four on him. That young man at risk now. Well, they're bringing Mitchell back in. So Mitchell will check back in. He's got three, and that uh, Mitchell has really been the guy that has been the difference maker. They, they've gotten some shots from others in this second half as Graham misses the free throw, short. 76% on the season, Wonko going to exit. Okay, so Zach, the uh, let CJ know back at the studio the audio issue that we've had on cable has happened again as Campbellsville misses the second free throw. So there's something with uh, live broadcast that is causing this issue and uh, on local cable. We've been trying to track it down. We tested the other day, Benji, and couldn't find it. That's the same issue I think that uh, one of the trustee members yeah. had mentioned. So we're trying to figure out that issue is Beard going to try a three. That's no good. Rebound batted away from Clements by Udala, and Mitchell picks it up. Tough break for the Tigers there as it looked like they had a surefire rebound, and Udala kept it alive. He's working inside. Oh, my. Got a foul called here against Malik, and he's going to get a technical if he's not careful. Whew, easy, guys. So this will be the third on Malik. Thirty-seven, twenty-nine, just over ten minutes. Yadali hits the free throw here, and this is that point we Jay talked about. Benji, both teams held down. Somebody take advantage. Shawnee State maybe starting to it's, starting to uh, do that. Yeah, they've got they built this thing back out to nine uh, again, much like they did there at the end of the first half. Uh, Campbellsville was able to cut it to five uh, by halftime, but uh, it's, you, did, you don't want this thing to get too far out. Free throw here. 
is good. So it's a 10 point lead. Out front, Milburn. And inside, we've got a foul here on Mitchell. Well, the plot thickens yes, here, it does. as they say. So that's four on Mitchell. So the uh, the five men for Shawnee State today, it's been pretty much exclusively Mitchell and Wonkwo. And both of those young men uh, playing at risk, and Wonkwo is going to check back in. So Coach Thomas going to try to save uh, Mitchell for the stretch run. And if one of them were to foul out first, it's going to be Wonkwo. Well, if I was Campbellsville, I'd go right at him again, get him out, then, that, then bring Mitchell back in and go right at him. <laughs> yeah, see if that can, it would certainly help you rebound, you know, yeah. on the other end, he's trying to rebound here. Mitchell, or excuse me, uh, Muhammad gets, misses the first, the rebound to Milburn. Wallace a three, that is no good. They and him. they pushed Muhammad in the back. And I don't think it was one of the bigs, that was Beard. Well, I'll tell you what, Campbellsville dodged one there, Matt. Uh, missed the front end of the bonus. Uh, Milburn was able to get a rebound, kick it out to Wallace. And now we're, here we are back again with a one and one, the last one. After this, we'll be in the double bonus with 10 minutes, basically 10 minutes to go in the game. Yeah, this free throw for Muhammad is no good. Wallace knocks it off the hands of Idali. He saves it, but Milburn had caught it, and then he threw it away as he was falling out of bounds. Jay tried to keep that alive for Campbellsville, but Wonkwo ended up picking it up, and free throws here, Benji, have just been a uh, yeah, killer. Eight, eight of 15. Campbellsville. Out front, Beard, the basketball. 10-point Shawnee State advantage. This ball deflected by Wallace and out of bounds with eight on the shot clock here. Campbellsville three of eight here in the second half from the free throw line. Eight of 16, so 50%. That, that, that will not get it done. Out top, that is Bumgarner, I believe, for the three. No good. Rebound taken in by Udale. They tried to tie him up. No call. And in the corner now underneath, Quanquo faces up, back out. Abergu, three on the way. Good for Isaac Abergu. That's tough right there, man. And that, uh, that one really hurts. That hurts. 13-point lead here now with eight, nine to go. So this will be Campbellsville back on the offensive end. Inside, Muhammad rips through, goes up, and he's fouled by Udale. Two shots coming here for Malik Muhammad. So Campbellsville trailing by 13. Benji, you know, the unfortunate thing for the Tigers, it's not lack of effort. No. They tried today. The yeah. It's just offensively, it's just a it, chore right now. It, it really is. And Malik, who has been a good free throw shooter for the large portion of this season, his average has dipped a bit. Now, all of a sudden, he joins, you know, others with the struggles at the line. Yeah, he's missed three in a row here. And this free throw is short. Like Milburn again in there fighting. Quanquo the rebound. Milburn Wallace tie it up, and it's not going to bounds. It's going to be Shawnee State basketball as Campbellsville going to tie up the big man. And you look here, Benji, and those free throws. It's not to beat a dead horse. They've missed ten, but even hit five of those. Yeah, it's still, it's still in that still range where you're like, range okay, we got a shot. Yeah, but now this feels, I don't want to say insurmountable, but it's just not been a good day at the office offensively. Bumgarner to Udale on around right side. Beard working, driving in. Shovels one, has some clock low and a timeout. Going to be called by Campbellsville here as the guard play out front for Shawnee State has uh, created a couple of easy finishes around the rim for Nkwankwo, and that has certainly changed the game. A full timeout here. With eight and a half minutes to go, 44-29 the score. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network.
29-29 the score. Campbellsville trailing Shawnee State here in the Powell Center. Matt Payton and the former Tiger, the Hall of Famer. Benji Kelly here with you. Tigers wrapping up their first semester action here, Benji. And we talked about they'd love to go into the break uh, on a positive, and they've got some uh, heavy lifting well, to do in the yeah, final do. few minutes. To Eight get minutes, there. 30 seconds, down 15. Uh, they get a nice little break, uh, but you come right back, and who do you play? <laughs> Number uh, two team in the nation, Thomas Moore, who is um, is really, really good. And they got 30 piece by Freed Hardeman. They the did. 29. I mean, it goes to show you any night in any team, you know, yeah. it's – there's so much parity on the men's side. You don't see it maybe quite as much across the, yeah. the women's side, but the men's side is, uh, it's nuts. And unfortunately, the transfer portal has made it even crazier. Yes. Brown inside to Muhammad. He finds a wide open to Sousa. And I like the intent there. It was just a little, I think he put a little spin on it. Just and uh, jumped away from Yeah, Malachi jumped away from there. Malachi. 44-29. Shawnee State to the front court. Yudale over the top looking for Naquanquo. Poked away briefly by Muhammad. He stays with it. Naquanquo's face-up jumper from 10 feet is off the mark. Wallace ahead. Brown races all the way to the rim. Throws up a shot that is good. Nice shot by Malik to stay off of it. Absolutely. Here is Beard the other way. Excuse me, that's Bumgarner. And he gets fouled maybe two or three times. Campbells will win almost seven minutes, Matt, without a basket, without a point. Yeah, that's just putting too much pressure yeah. on your defense to be perfect. And they've been a good defensive team. They can they can defend. Now the other night you look at Pikeville and you how often does a team hit 10 threes and a half against you? That's kind right. of well, Freezer here just by one, you know, and, and occasionally you're going to run into to games like that, but for some reason it just always seems it happens to Campbellsville. Well, they've played poorly twice this season in, in Coach Vernon's eyes. Now, UT Southern was really good down there, um, and we missed shots early. I think Pikeville may be the one effort that he wasn't tickled with uh, as much. But they've had chances, you talked about it at the top of the broadcast, to beat Freed Hardeman here. Cumberland's yeah, it's, here. It's Georgetown on the road. They had chances. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, right be a, there. You'd, be a, you'd be right there in the middle of the pack. 15-point Shawnee State advantage as we creep closer to seven and a half minutes. Javon Smith off to Brown out top. Driving here. Brown, well, acrobatic shot won't go. Ball batted up by Muhammad, staying with it. Muhammad again. That one is good for Malik Muhammad. Way to stay with it there, big guy. Shawnee State's went a bit smaller, and you wonder if maybe Coach Thomas is trying to save those He's two by, bigs by while he has minutes, the lead. Yeah. Inside is Baumgartner on out. Abergut. Now Beard. Again. Baumgartner. Backs away, left side, here's Beavers for three. That's no good, rebound to Sousa. Campbellsville gonna have to start putting together an offensive show here, a kick ball. That was a... That World was Cup a, final a, a is tomorrow. Good one, right there. <laughs> I think that was Beard maybe that got the foot on it. 13 point Shawnee State lead here. Trying to match up here defensively are the <laughs> Bears. <laughs> Muhammad going to come out to set the screen. Brown going to go between the defenders now. Driving. Picks up his dribble. Needs some help. And he'll skip it to the corner. DeSousa, three on the way. That is nearly banked in. I thought Malachi had missed that way long, but it actually kissed up off the glass and nearly went through. Bumgarner finds Udale. Ball fake. Now Beard open, three off the wing is good for Trey Beard. And it is a 16 point Bear lead with just over six minutes to play. Muhammad right wing, Wallace the ball fake. Right side, Brown out top, Wallace three on the way. Bang, Chase Wallace and Edward Jones three. And the Tigers not gonna give up here, but gonna have to heat up from the field in general. Full time out taken by 
Coach V will step away here, 6.03, to play in the basketball game. The Tigers trail 49-36. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Jason, let's go see your room. Six oh three to play. The Tigers are going to need one of those Minnesota Vikings. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Spoiler alert: If you're a Colts or Vikings fan, turn it off. Yeah. Uh, at least this broadcast for a moment. But uh, anyway, that that one apparently is a wide one. I, wild one. I was getting text messages. Thirty is thirty three nothing at halftime, and now it's tied. Tied. So six oh three to play here. Uh, 49-36 the score. Tigers get a three point bucket there by Jace Wallace and Edward Jones three. Campbellsville. And Shawnee State just haven't really got the, the scores are about what they were at halftime in terms of point totals. So they've increased the output a little bit, each team. Campbellsville have to come up with a few stops and a few buckets, see if they can't give themselves a chance this final six minutes or so. Beavers on the dribble. Cutting inside, Bumgarner ball knocked away by Wallace and out of bounds with eight on the shot clock. The Tigers just missed a takeaway there. Wallace made that hit in the ribs or behind the hit there. And this brings us to our final media stoppage with 541 to play in the basketball game. Again, a 13-point Shawnee State lead. They'll have the ball with eight on the shot clock. When we get back, you're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You can say how while you will get a fake tattoo. You can ask with an app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at org. Forty-nine thirty-six. The Tigers trailing Shawnee State here. Benji, look at some of the numbers from this one. Both teams have started to settle in, maybe a bit. The turnovers have gone down. We're not seeing as many second-half turnovers. The field goal percentage, though, really for for neither club has gotten much better. Three, three points each. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so again, it just. Uh, to boil down to a few stops. Shawnee State, though, I feel like has really started to heat up from deep. They were 2-9 of nine at halftime, 3 of, of 10 here in the second half, it looks like. So uh, more of what we saw that first 20 minutes. Beavers to pitch it in here for Shawnee State. Looking. Eight on the shot clock. They have to go quickly. Abergut down on the end line, throws up a little running shot that is good. 51-36. Wallace in the crossover. That is a body check by yep. Beavers, not called. And Coach Vernon is unhappy about it. Beavers just kind of turtled both yeah. arms up in front of the chest and just gave Wallace a bump. Nice uh, job by Jace to play through the contact. Baumgartner out front, defended by DeSouza. He'll drive to the lane and he has to stop off the block left side. Gets it back, 10 to shoot. Beavers driving, stops at the yellow, shuffle the feet, not called. Udale runs over Muhammad, throws up a shot, no good. His tap back is there. Fifty-three thirty-eight. the score. Wallace spins away from Abergut down the middle of the lane, shovels it off. That is D'Souza and one for Kai. Yeah, great pass there by Wallace, uh, cutting D'Souza. Chance to get this thing to 12 points. Tavius Mitchell going to check back in. He's going to take off his uh, – Mitchell's got his shooting <laughs> shirt on. They can't take that off. He's like, what do you mean? 53-40. Wallace here on the drive. Gets in the middle of the lane and 
Leaves that off for Malachi to Susan to finish. Free throw here for Kai on the way, and that is good. Now, Kai, you are. 53 41, four and a half minutes or so to play. Beavers defended by Wallace. Get a foul call here on Jace. Two, uh, three on Jace Wallace. Six on the Tigers as a team, so Shawnee State now will be in the bonus situation, the final four and a half minutes. Out top, Geis working off the screen. Muhammad Hedges back to Mitchell. And now Beavers drives in. Beavers throws up a high arching floater over the top. And that goes through, 14 points to margin. Wallace off the left wing, calls for the screen from Muhammad. Back into the corner, actually that's, uh, I think that's Muhammad driving, yep. gets the layup there. I was shielded by Coach V. I don't know if that pass was, was that intended for it, Malik, I or think was it, it was supposed to go to Javon in the It was supposed corner? to go to Javon, I believe, but it worked out in the end. Beavers pressured, hands it to Geis. It's a 12 point game, Geis defended by Smith, backs away, gets the screen, they switch. D'Souza picks up. Oh, oh what a double. And there's a double dribble, carry, uh, official signals, carry, guys. Uh, page of the and one mixtape there, so yeah. he tried to get away with the quick one. Campbellsville with a stop there, we can get this thing down into single digits. Campbellsville still has the door slightly cracked, but you're, you, you, you got to get stops. The error is very Which, limited. Yeah. Wallace. They want Smith on the right side, three on the way. That is hard. Good look. The Tigers got the look they wanted right there. 55-43. 3.20 to play. I wonder if at some point the Tigers don't elect to extend. Maybe uh, now would be the time to, if you get the right shooter, to foul that one and one. Mitchell throws up a runner that's no good. It climbs over Malik right back to Mitchell. and. Man. That's kind of a microcosm of what we've seen here today. Yeah, he's 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 a stud of a player at Mitchell. He is a grown man. And here a foul or a kick. A kick. Baumgartner got his foot on it. Mitchell here with 15 rebounds, 12 points. It's impressive. Wallace motions for Muhammad to come set the screen. He'll come right side to Brown. Into the corner, Smith. Smith off the wing, and he was looking for Brown. Beaver stepped right in front of it, and he'll go down and stuff it. 59-43 the score with 2.38 to play. A full timeout taken by the Tigers. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. The time 43, Campbellsville Trail, Shawnee State 238 to play. The uh, Tigers going to have to do a heavy piece of lifting here this final bit. And Benji, uh, not a great day for the, the Tigers. I know your Bills play later on. My Cubs got some good news. They did get uh, some good news. Yeah. Dansby Swanson there. And I love the contract. These crazy deals. These guys are getting 12 and 13 years. Seven years, 177. Sign me up all day, every yeah, day. Yeah, I just take the interest off uh, that. You yeah, know? yeah, just give me half of 1%. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, anyway, big Big day for the, the Cubs tickled with that as uh, the baseball. It's been a crazy offseason already. Uh, it's crazy. The money in it. Uh, yeah. it it's it says baseball's uh, a dying sport. Uh, Look at the billions. Yeah, exactly. Said, and that's with a B. Spent yeah. this offseason. I beg to, to differ. differ. Yeah. 59-43. Tigers got to get to work here. Jordan Graham the basketball. Brown gets it across the timeline and he's greeted by Bumgarner. As the Sousa looking for Graham. Get out of the way down there, Zach. <laughs> It's the fastest oh, Clements move in a long time. They all he about come out of his winkle pickers. His, his lateral movement there, he, he played some good defense. 59-43, oh. <laughs> Shawnee State on the offensive end. Mitchell 
to Beavers. Left side open is Udali. He'll try a three. That is no good. Rebound to Jace Wallace. Ahead to Sousa. De Sousa behind the back. Needs some help. Wallace looking for Graham. And those passing lanes, we've They're, seen a few, a few times that at the length of Shawnee State. It's, it's, just, just, it's too much to overcome. They're so long and quick. Don't stop. Don't stop. Beavers out top. Geis, a minute 40 to go inside Mitchell, open lane to the rim and gets the lay-in. 61-43. Well, Benji gets back, you look, if you can hold a team to this low of a point total in this league, you, you've done a good job. You think you got a chance to win each and every night. Defensively, Campbellsville's done a nice job today. It's just, uh, again, this, this half of the floor yep. is been the struggle. I missed the foul call there, Benji. It was on three. Three, Bum that Gardner. is Bumgarner. So two shots coming for Campbellsville. sure what's going on here. Shawnee State's got a half a dozen guys. <laughs> More than that. I think they got a full dozen. Oh, okay. So he's just getting the all chain. in. We're sending Jackson Gowdy, 6'8", sophomore forward from Indianapolis, Indiana. Also in Faisal Crumby, 5'11", freshman guard from Toledo, Ohio. Beard back in, Quanko back in, Abergut in. That may be just about all that. Shawnee brought today. I think uh, maybe Abraham Ding down there. Everybody else just about has gotten in. Jalen Sincor, I think, in the book as well. 61 44. Beard driving in, bounces, has a clock. Well, the Tigers lost in there as Muhammad thought they're going to take one more dribble. He's going to try to maybe block a shot, but a nice feed inside. In the corner, Graham, three on the way. That is hard. Wallace tries to save it, but I believe he was on the end line. Jay Milburn going to check in here. Coach Vernon didn't get Milburn up quite in time. Dowdy off the screen has Crumby. Wonko going to set the screen. Muhammad hedges. Now they go to Aberdeen. Working against Graham. Lost the handle. And ball is taken in by Muhammad here. The other way. Wallace leaves it. That is D'Souza. And he'll pitch it up and in off glass. And now they'll. Now the Tigers. <laughs> back. Pull Jay Milburn back. And he'll head off. The Tigers will. Not foul, and that should be the final score of this one. Benji Kelly, unfortunately for Campbellsville, just not enough offense today. They will fall to six and nine on the year. One and eight in league play. Shawnee State now nine and six on the season. They are five and four in league play as uh, the two teams still out on the court as the handshake line is underway. And uh, frustrating afternoon. For the Tigers, we'll step away here. Shawnee State Victoria 63-46. You're following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Jason, let's go see your room. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At aceyourretirement.org, you can. Start with a free three-minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? 
to get free action items customized just for you. Get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. your final score. The Tigers fall as, uh, well, Benji, you know, not a a great afternoon for Campbellsville, but you see these guys here. I'm not sure what school they're from, but uh, taking some pictures with the Tigers, and they all wanted to get their picture taken with Malik. Yeah. I wonder if that's some of his fame from Last Chance U. It could be. Uh, some of those kids may have an idea uh, of who, of who he is. He is. Yeah. And uh, so, anyway, pretty cool to see uh, that there. Uh, looking at the final numbers, Benji, this was this one here was uh, ugly. 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 Shawnee ugly. State did finally get going a bit offensively late in the game. They got their field goal percentage up to 42%. They finished shooting 50. Uh, 2% in the second half, uh, 24 of 57 overall, 6 of 20 from three-point range for Shawnee State, 9 of 12 from the free throw line. For the Tigers, just 34% today, uh, an offensive struggle for those guys, uh, 16 of 47, 4 of 25 from deep, and 47.6% from the free throw line. Campbellsville had just one player in double figures. Keiston Brown had 11 points, three assists, Two steals for KB today. He made a couple of Edward Jones threes. They got nine from Jace Wallace. Six assists, four steals for Jace. And uh, seven each from Jarius Key. Seven boards for Key. Malachi DeSouza also was seven at five rebounds. Uh, actually, that was Malik Muhammad. Seven points, five rebounds. Uh, Malachi DeSouza finished with six points, three boards, two assists, and a steal off the bench. Jay Milburn had five. Chandler Clements had one. And Jordan Graham finished scoreless, but he did have uh, eight rebounds in the game. Javon Smith also scoreless today. Shawnee State led in scoring by Latavius Mitchell. He had a game-high 14, so just one player for each team in double figures here today. Mitchell, uh, 14 points, 15 rebounds, a big double-double for him. They got nine from Felix Udale, eight from Azabuki Nwankwo. Isaac Abergut had seven. Uh, Brandon Beavers also had nine. Jaden Geis had six. They got six from Trey Beard. And um, rounding out their scoring is Trey Baumgartner today. Rebounding, Campbellsville had their, uh, held their own, Benji, in rebounds. Uh, 35-32 in favor of Shawnee State. They had one extra rebound on the offensive end, 10-9. to 11 assists for each club. The Tigers had one more steal, 7-6. to six. Turnovers, both teams had 16. So those numbers almost uh, identical. In the paint, Shawnee State a six-point advantage, 30 to 24. Off turnovers, 12-9 in favor of the Bears. Second chance, 16 to 13. Again in favor of Shawnee and bench points, 21 to six. Three ties, three lead changes. Largest lead for CU, four for Shawnee State. It was 19. Just one of those. You 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 know for Campbellsville, this this break hits you at a time where uh, you kind of circle the wagons. Hopefully you get a Trayshawn Smoots back yep. healthy. He can be a game changer. I know this this feels like a, a real low right now, but you've got a really 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 good player that yep. uh, is at your disposal. Hopefully you can get him back healthy, and uh, you know that can spark some things. Uh, yeah, in the second it, half. it can. You know. It's, what, Campbellsville's playing okay. They just can't score. Uh, and, you know, we don't have that go-to shooter like we've had in the past. Uh, trying to manufacture points. You know, obviously, Muhammad, they, they want to get it down low, but teams have kind of figured that out, that they can double-team him and put pressure on the perimeter. And right now, we're just not able to knock down shots. Uh, 34% from the from the field, 16% from three, and then you get to the free throw line at 47%. Those numbers, that's not going to cut it uh, if you want to be successful in this league. But once again, their effort is there. Their defense is there. I mean, they're doing, they're checking all the boxes and playing extremely well. They just can't, at the end of the game, or at the end of the day, you've got to put points on the board uh, in order to win at this game. And right now, this Campbellsville struggling to find a way to do that. 
Uh, this this may be an extended uh, visit locker room wise sure. for Coach V. Uh, a lot of the guys are going to head on O'Malachi, and some other guys are going to go home. So I'm not going to we're not going to hang around and, and waste a bunch of time uh, waiting on him to come back out. So uh, you know I, I think we wrap this up. We've got another one here on Thursday, Thursday the night, yeah. Tigers. So hopefully we get them, uh, you know, uh, as they they wrap up the pre Christmas action then down to Miami. Uh, for all that, but uh, we'll we'll let Coach V, and he's still under the weather. Look at all these cough drops I out know. here. He's still working through some stuff himself. So we'll uh, we'll cut him some slack here today, and we'll put a bow on our broadcast. A special thank you to all those who have made our coverage possible. President Joseph Hopkins, uh, as well as Vice President for Athletics Rusty Hollinsworth, Director of Athletics Jim Hardy, uh, Tori Cox producing our broadcast on radio, and all those who have been working from the television video side of things as well. Benji Kelly on color commentary. Matt Payton saying a special thank you to all of you who have followed our coverage here today signing off from the Powell Athletic Center is uh, Campbellsville Falls to Shawnee State here this afternoon final score 63-46 you've been following the Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network